As humanity looks to the stars, the future of space stations plays a crucial role in our exploration endeavors. One of the key questions is how space stations will evolve in design and function over the next few decades. Current space stations, like the International Space Station ISS, have provided invaluable experience in long-term human habitation and microgravity, but future stations are expected to be more modular and versatile, allowing for the addition of new components and functionalities as technology advances. This raises the question of what specific technologies will be integrated into these future stations to enhance life support systems and sustainability in space. Moreover, as we venture deeper into space, will we see the establishment of permanent bases on the Moon or Mars? This possibility brings to light the significance of space stations as staging points for missions beyond low Earth orbit. What role will they play in supporting astronauts on longer missions and how will they contribute to the logistics of interplanetary travel? Another intriguing aspect is the potential for commercial space stations. With private companies entering the space arena, how will these entities collaborate with national space agencies, and what new opportunities for research and tourism might emerge? As we consider the environmental impacts of space stations, what strategies will be implemented to ensure that they operate sustainably? The idea of using in situ resources, like extracting water from lunar ice, could significantly reduce the need to launch supplies from Earth. This leads us to ponder the implications of space law and governance as more countries and organizations establish their presence in space. How will international treaties adapt to new challenges posed by these developments? Another exciting question involves the scientific research that future space stations will facilitate. With advancements in life sciences, material sciences, and astronomy, how will the research conducted in these stations differ from what we can achieve on Earth? The microgravity environment can lead to breakthroughs that are impossible under normal conditions and the potential for international collaboration on scientific experiments could yield unprecedented discoveries. Additionally, as technology progresses, how will advancements in artificial intelligence and robotics influence the operation and maintenance of space stations? The use of autonomous systems could reduce the workload on astronauts, allowing them to focus on research and exploration activities. This raises further questions about the future role of humans in space. Will we see a shift towards more robotic missions, or is there an irreplaceable value in human presence that will continue to drive exploration? Looking ahead, how will the role of space stations in education and outreach evolve? The ability to share live feeds and experiences from space could inspire anew. The primary purposes of current space stations, especially the International Space Station ISS, encompass a range of scientific, educational, and international collaboration goals. One of the main functions of the ISS is to serve as a unique laboratory for scientific research that cannot be conducted on Earth due to the effects of gravity. Scientists from various countries work together to conduct experiments in fields like biology, physics, astronomy, and material science, taking advantage of the microgravity environment to observe phenomena that would be impossible otherwise. For instance, researchers study how living organisms grow and behave in space, which can inform everything from medicine to plant biology. In addition to biological studies, the ISS provides insights into fundamental physics, Experiments on fluid dynamics, combustion, and material properties can reveal how these processes differ in microgravity, potentially leading to new technologies and materials that benefit life on Earth. The microgravity environment also allows scientists to observe the behavior of complex systems over extended periods, giving rise to discoveries that could not be replicated in terrestrial labs. Another critical purpose of the ISS is to foster international cooperation in space exploration. The station is a collaborative effort among space agencies from the United States, Russia, Europe, Japan, and Canada, symbolizing a peaceful partnership aimed at advancing human knowledge. This collaboration not only enhances scientific output but also promotes diplomatic relations and shared goals among nations. Educational outreach is also a significant focus of the ISS. By engaging students in the general public with live feeds, educational programs, and interactive experiences, the ISS inspires the next generation of scientists, engineers, and explorers. 
Astronauts often participate in educational initiatives, conducting experiments designed by students or sharing their experiences through virtual tours, making space exploration more accessible and exciting. Moreover, the ISS plays a crucial role in preparing for future long-duration space missions. It serves as a testbed for technologies and life support systems necessary for missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. By living and working in space for extended periods, astronauts gather valuable data on human health and performance in space, which is essential for planning future missions where resupply from Earth may not be possible. The ISS also contributes to Earth observation and disaster response. Equipped with advanced sensors and cameras, it enables scientists to monitor Earth's climate, natural disasters, and environmental changes. This data supports research in climate science and helps governments respond more effectively to emergencies, such as tracking hurricanes or assessing the impact of wildfires. Lastly, the ISS has become a platform for commercial activities in space. Space stations, particularly the International Space Station ISS, have been essential in advancing our knowledge of microgravity and its effects on human health. Since its inception, the ISS has served as a unique laboratory, allowing scientists to conduct experiments in an environment where the force of gravity is significantly reduced. This unique setting has provided researchers with valuable insights into how the human body responds to long-duration spaceflight. One of the most pressing concerns is how microgravity affects muscle mass and bone density. Studies have shown that astronauts lose about 1-2% to of their bone density per month while in space, which can lead to osteoporosis-like symptoms upon return to Earth. To combat this, astronauts engage in rigorous exercise routines aboard the ISS, using specialized equipment designed to simulate weight-bearing activities. Observations made from these exercises have helped scientists develop countermeasures to mitigate the loss of bone and muscle. Additionally, microgravity exposes astronauts to changes in fluid distribution within the body. In a gravity-rich environment, fluids are distributed differently than in space, leading to a phenomenon known as moon phase, where fluid shifts cause facial puffiness. Understanding these changes has enhanced our grasp of cardiovascular health in space, revealing that microgravity can affect blood pressure regulation and heart function. This research is crucial because it informs the design of better health monitoring systems for astronauts and has implications for patients on Earth suffering from similar fluid distribution issues. Moreover, the effects of microgravity on the immune system have been a focal point of research. Experiments conducted on the ISS have indicated that certain immune responses are weakened in space, which raises concerns about astronauts' susceptibility to infections during long missions. This knowledge is vital not only for keeping astronauts healthy but also for understanding immune response mechanisms, which can benefit medical science on Earth. Space stations also provide a platform for studying the impact of radiation on human health. Astronauts are exposed to higher levels of cosmic radiation than people on Earth, and understanding how this exposure affects cellular processes, DNA repair mechanisms, and cancer risk is critical for future long-duration missions to Mars and beyond. Research conducted aboard the ISS has contributed to developing protective measures and strategies to minimize radiation exposure during space travel. Furthermore, psychological health is another important aspect influenced by the isolation and confined living conditions experienced on space stations. Studies have shown that long missions can lead to stress, anxiety, and other mental health challenges. By examining the psychological effects of living in microgravity, researchers can develop interventions to support astronauts during missions, ensuring their mental well-being. Space stations, particularly the International Space Station ISS, have been a hub for scientific research and technological advancements that extend far beyond their orbiting laboratories. One of the most significant contributions has been in the field of material science. Scientists have been able to study how materials behave in microgravity, leading to the development of stronger and lighter materials that are now used in various industries on Earth, including aerospace and automotive. These materials often exhibit enhanced properties, such as better resistance to wear and tear or improved thermal stability, which can result in safer and more efficient products. Another area of advancement has been in the realm of medical technology. 
Research conducted in the unique environment of space has provided insights into human physiology and the effects of microgravity on the body. This has led to the development of advanced medical imaging techniques and devices that have applications on Earth, such as improved methods for detecting and diagnosing diseases. For instance, the study of bone density loss in astronauts has contributed to better understanding osteoporosis, prompting the creation of new treatments and preventive measures for individuals on Earth. Moreover, the need for reliable life support systems aboard space stations has driven innovations in environmental control and life support technology. The systems developed for recycling air and water in space have found applications in sustainable living technologies on Earth, such as advanced water purification systems and air filtration technologies. These innovations help to address environmental challenges and provide cleaner resources for communities around the world. In terms of robotics, the research conducted on space stations has propelled advancements in robotic systems. The challenges of conducting repairs and experiments in the harsh environment of space have led to the development of sophisticated robotic arms and autonomous systems. These robots are not only used in space missions but have also been adapted for use in various fields on Earth, including manufacturing, surgery, and disaster response, where precision and reliability are critical. Additionally, advancements in communication technology have emerged from the need to maintain contact with astronauts aboard space stations. The development of satellite communication systems and data transmission technologies has improved connectivity and data sharing, benefiting not just space missions but also improving telecommunications and internet services globally. This has allowed for better communication in remote areas on Earth, where traditional infrastructure may be lacking. The exploration of plant growth and microgravity has also led to breakthroughs in agricultural technology. Scientists have been studying how various plants adapt to the conditions of space, which has implications for food production on Earth. Techniques developed for growing food in space can be applied to enhance agricultural practices, improve crop resilience, and increase yields, especially in areas facing. Space stations play a crucial role in fostering international collaboration in space exploration by serving as shared platforms where astronauts and scientists from different countries can work together on scientific research and technology development. The International Space Station ISS, for example, is a symbol of global partnership, bringing together space agencies like NASA from the United States, Roscosmos from Russia, ESA from Europe, JAXA from Japan, and CSA from Canada. This unique collaboration allows for the pooling of resources, expertise, and funding, making it possible to conduct experiments that would be difficult or impossible for any single nation to undertake alone. In the microgravity environment of space, researchers can study various phenomena that cannot be replicated on Earth. Experiments in areas such as biology, physics, and materials science benefit from the collaborative efforts of international teams, allowing for diverse perspectives and innovative solutions to complex problems. For instance, understanding how living organisms adapt to space conditions is vital for long-duration missions, such as trips to Mars, and insights gained from the ISS can help inform these future endeavors. Moreover, the presence of a multinational crew aboard the ISS enhances cultural exchange and promotes goodwill among nations. Astronauts from different countries train together, share experiences, and learn from one another, creating a sense of unity and shared purpose in the quest for knowledge beyond our planet. This collaboration extends to educational outreach, where astronauts conduct live video sessions with students worldwide, inspiring the next generation to pursue careers in science and technology. The collaborative framework established through space stations also encourages nations to work together on ambitious projects, such as lunar exploration and potential missions to Mars. By sharing technology, scientific findings, and engineering expertise, countries can reduce costs and increase the chances of success for these complex missions. Joint initiatives, like the Artemis program, aim to return humans to the moon and establish a sustainable presence, paving the way for further exploration of Mars and beyond. In addition, international agreements related to the use of space resources and the exploration of celestial bodies often stem from the cooperative spirit fostered by space stations. As more countries venture into space, establishing guidelines and standards becomes essential to ensure peaceful and responsible exploration.
the collaborative nature of space stations helps facilitate discussions about these important issues, promoting a shared vision for the future of humanity in space. Furthermore, ongoing partnerships in the maintenance and operation of space stations help build long-term relationships between countries. As nations work together to solve challenges like life support systems, spacecraft docking procedures, and radiation protection, they develop trust and cooperation that Space stations play a crucial role in enabling long-duration human spaceflight missions by providing a unique environment for scientific research, technological development, and human adaptation to life in space. These orbiting laboratories are designed to support astronauts for extended periods, allowing them to live and work in microgravity. One of the primary functions of a space station, like the International Space Station ISS, is to serve as a platform for a variety of experiments that cannot be conducted on Earth. Researchers can study the effects of microgravity on biological systems, materials science, fluid dynamics, and combustion, among other fields. The data gathered from these experiments helps scientists understand fundamental processes and can lead to breakthroughs in medicine, technology, and our understanding of the universe. Moreover, space stations provide an essential setting for astronauts to adapt to the challenges of long-term space living. Living in microgravity affects human health in various ways, including muscle atrophy and bone density loss. By conducting studies aboard space stations, scientists can monitor these changes and develop countermeasures to protect astronauts during long missions, such as those planned for Mars. These countermeasures include exercise regimens, dietary adjustments, and even the development of pharmaceuticals to maintain astronaut health. Additionally, space stations facilitate international collaboration, bringing together scientists and engineers from different countries to work towards common goals. This cooperation not only enhances the scientific output but also fosters goodwill and understanding among nations, showcasing the peaceful use of space for humanity's benefit. As humans prepare for missions to Mars and beyond, the experience gained from living aboard space stations is invaluable. It helps us understand how to manage resources, maintain life support systems, and ensure the psychological well-being of crew members in isolated environments. In the context of future exploration, space stations can serve as staging points for deeper space missions. They can be equipped with the necessary infrastructure to support spacecraft that travel farther into the solar system. This can include fuel depots, repair facilities, and training environments for astronauts preparing to embark on long journeys. By simulating the conditions of distant planets and moons, space stations allow astronauts to gain the experience needed to adapt to various extraterrestrial environments before they set foot on new worlds. In conclusion, space stations are indispensable for advancing our capabilities in long-duration human spaceflight. They allow us to conduct vital research, develop technologies, and prepare astronauts for the unique challenges of living and working in space for extended periods. As we look to the future of human exploration beyond Earth, space stations will continue to be at the The International Space Station ISS, serves as a crucial stepping stone for preparing future missions to Mars and beyond, providing a unique environment to test technologies and life support systems that will be essential for long-duration space travel. One of the most significant aspects of the ISS is its ability to simulate the conditions of deep space, allowing astronauts to live and work in microgravity for extended periods. By understanding how the human body reacts to living in space for months at a time, researchers can gather vital data on health issues that may arise during a mission to Mars, such as muscle atrophy, bone density loss, and psychological effects from isolation. Additionally, the ISS acts as a test bed for new technologies that will be required for future missions. For example, experiments on the ISS are exploring advanced life support systems that recycle air and water, making them more efficient and sustainable for long missions. This research is critical because a trip to Mars could last more than three years, and the ability to maintain life support systems will be a key factor in the success of such missions. Another area of focus is radiation protection. The ISS provides a platform to study the effects of cosmic radiation on astronauts and to test materials and designs that could shield future crews on a journey to Mars, where radiation exposure is a significant concern due to the lack of a protective atmosphere. 
Furthermore, the ISS is helping to refine the technologies needed for landing on and exploring other planetary surfaces. Robotic missions and experiments conducted on the ISS informed the development of rovers and other equipment that could be used on Mars and elsewhere. The experiences gained from operating equipment in microgravity can lead to improvements in design and functionality for use on different celestial bodies. Moreover, the ISS allows for international collaboration, which is essential for the ambitious goal of sending humans to Mars. Countries around the world are working together on the ISS, sharing knowledge and resources, which fosters a spirit of teamwork that will be necessary for future missions beyond low Earth orbit. These partnerships create a network of expertise that can be leveraged when planning complex missions that require contributions from multiple nations. In addition to the technological and health aspects, the ISS offers insights into agriculture and space. Experiments growing plants in microgravity are paving the way for sustainable food sources on long missions. Understanding how to cultivate food in space is vital, as astronauts will need to grow their own food on Mars, making self-sustaining agriculture a key area of research. The data collected from the ISS will also inform mission planning. The International Space Station ISS, has been a remarkable achievement in human space exploration, providing a unique platform for scientific research and international collaboration. However, as it has been continuously inhabited since November 2000, the ISS faces significant challenges, particularly regarding its aging infrastructure and the funding necessary for its continued operation. One of the primary concerns is the wear and tear on its various systems and components. Over two decades of exposure to the harsh environment of space has led to degradation in materials, such as the station's exterior shielding, which protects it from micrometeoroids and space debris. The solar panels, which are crucial for generating power, also require regular maintenance and replacement due to the effects of radiation and solar flares that can diminish their efficiency. Additionally, the life support systems, which provide astronauts with air and water, are in need of upgrades and repairs. These systems are vital for sustaining human life aboard the station, and any failure could pose serious risks to the crew. The challenges are compounded by the fact that many of the original components and technologies were designed for a much shorter lifespan than what the ISS has already exceeded. As engineers and scientists work to resolve these issues, they must also navigate the complexities of funding. The ISS is a collaborative project involving several space agencies, including NASA, Roscosmos, ESA, JAXA, and CSA, each of which has its own budgetary constraints and priorities. As international space exploration continues to evolve, there are discussions about the future of the ISS, including its potential successors or alternatives. Funding has become an ongoing concern, particularly as government budgets fluctuate and other projects, like lunar missions or Mars exploration, vie for attention and resources. The challenge lies in balancing the need for continued investment in the ISS with the desire to push the boundaries of human exploration beyond low Earth orbit. Additionally, the increasing interest from private companies in space may offer new opportunities for partnerships and investment, but it also raises questions about the role of government agencies in maintaining and operating the ISS. These challenges create a complex landscape that requires careful planning and collaboration among all stakeholders to ensure that the ISS can continue to function effectively as a hub for scientific research and international cooperation in space. Space stations play a crucial role in advancing scientific research across various fields, including biology, physics, and materials science, by providing a unique environment that cannot be replicated on Earth. The microgravity conditions found aboard these stations allow scientists to conduct experiments that reveal phenomena otherwise obscured by the effects of gravity. For example, in biology, researchers study how living organisms respond to microgravity. This includes observing changes in cell growth, gene expression, and even the behavior of proteins. Experiments have shown that microgravity can alter the way bacteria grow and develop, leading to insights that could improve medical treatments and our understanding of disease processes. In physics, the space station serves as a laboratory for testing fundamental theories and conducting experiments that require extreme precision. 
For instance, scientists can investigate the behavior of fluids without the influence of gravitational forces, allowing for a better understanding of fluid dynamics. This has implications for everything from designing better spacecraft to understanding natural phenomena on Earth. The space environment also enables researchers to study the properties of materials at the atomic level, revealing how they behave in different conditions. This can lead to the development of new materials with enhanced properties, which is vital for engineering and technology. Moreover, materials science experiments in space can lead to the discovery of new alloys and composites that may have applications in various industries. The ability to create pure materials without the interference of gravity allows for the production of higher quality samples. These findings can lead to advancements in technology, such as lighter and stronger materials for use in aerospace and construction. Furthermore, space stations provide a platform for interdisciplinary research, where scientists from various fields collaborate to tackle complex problems. For example, understanding the effects of space travel on human health incorporates elements of biology, medicine, and psychology. Research on how long-term exposure to microgravity affects the human body can inform future missions to Mars and beyond, ensuring the health and safety of astronauts during extended space flights. The unique environment of space also allows for experiments on the behavior of flames and combustion, which can lead to more efficient combustion processes on Earth. This research has implications for energy production and environmental sustainability, as scientists learn how to optimize fuel use and reduce emissions. In addition to these scientific advancements, space stations serve an educational purpose. They inspire the next generation of scientists and engineers by providing real-world examples of how science can be applied in unique environments. Students and educators can engage with research being conducted in space, fostering interest in STEM fields and encouraging young minds to explore careers in science and technology. Space stations serve as vital platforms for testing new technologies that are essential for future space exploration. One of the primary functions of a space station is to provide a controlled environment where scientists and engineers can evaluate how various technologies perform in microgravity conditions. This is important because many systems behave differently in space compared to how they do on Earth. For instance, the International Space Station ISS, has been instrumental in testing advanced life support systems, which are crucial for long-duration missions to the Moon or Mars. By simulating conditions that astronauts would face on these long journeys, researchers can identify potential issues and improve these systems before they are deployed in more distant missions. Another area where space stations excel is in the development of new materials and manufacturing processes. The absence of gravity allows for unique experiments that can lead to the creation of materials with enhanced properties. For example, researchers have experimented with growing crystals in space, which can be purer and have fewer defects than those grown on Earth. This research can lead to advancements in technology, including better electronics and pharmaceuticals. Additionally, space stations serve as a testing ground for robotics and automation technologies that will be essential for exploring distant planets. Robotic systems can be tested for their ability to perform tasks in a space environment, ensuring they can operate effectively when deployed on other celestial bodies. Moreover, space stations enable the exploration of advanced propulsion systems. For instance, various propulsion technologies can be tested to see how they perform in space, which can inform the design of future spacecraft that will need to travel to distant destinations. These tests can involve small-scale experiments that help researchers understand fuel efficiency and the impact of different thrust methods in a microgravity environment. Communication technologies are also refined aboard space stations. As missions venture further from Earth, reliable communication becomes more critical. By testing new communication systems in space, engineers can ensure that astronauts can maintain contact with mission control and each other, no matter how far they are from home. This testing helps develop systems that can handle the delays and challenges of deep space communication, which is a significant hurdle for future exploration. Furthermore, space stations provide opportunities to test new scientific instruments intended for planetary exploration. Instruments designed to analyze soil, atmosphere, and other characteristics of distant planets can be tested in the station's environment to ensure they function correctly and provide accurate data under the conditions they will encounter. 
By simulating various environmental conditions, researchers can evaluate how these instruments respond and make necessary adjustments before they are sent on missions to Mars, Europa, or beyond. The International Space Station ISS, serves as a unique laboratory in low Earth orbit, offering scientists the opportunity to conduct experiments in a microgravity environment that can't be replicated on Earth. One of the remarkable experiments conducted is the study of protein crystal growth. On Earth, gravity can distort the way proteins form crystals, which can hinder our understanding of their structure. However, in the microgravity of the ISS, scientists have been able to grow larger and more perfect protein crystals. This advancement has significant implications for drug development, as understanding protein structures can help in designing effective medications. Another fascinating experiment involved the growth of plants in space. Researchers have explored how microgravity affects plant development, particularly focusing on the ways in which roots and shoots grow without the influence of gravity. They found that certain plants can adapt to the lack of gravitational pull by altering their hormone levels and gene expression. This research not only provides insights into plant biology but also has potential applications for growing food during long-duration space missions, such as to Mars. The ISS has also been a platform for studying the effects of space radiation on human health. Astronauts are exposed to higher levels of cosmic radiation than they would encounter on Earth, and researchers have been investigating how this exposure affects the human body. By studying blood samples and other biological markers, scientists have gained valuable information about the long-term impacts of radiation and how to protect astronauts on future deep space missions. Additionally, experiments with fluid dynamics and microgravity have led to a better understanding of how fluids behave without the influence of gravity. For instance, the capillary flow experiment CFE, examined how liquids move through porous materials in space. This research has implications for various fields, including engineering and even the way we handle fluids in everyday products on Earth. The ISS has also hosted studies on the behavior of combustion and microgravity. Researchers have found that flames behave very differently in space than on Earth, burning more slowly and producing less soot. This research not only enhances our understanding of fire safety in space but also has potential implications for improving combustion efficiency in engines on Earth. Another intriguing area of research on the ISS has focused on the microbiome in space. Scientists have collected samples of bacteria and other microorganisms from the ISS environment to study how they behave in microgravity. This research has revealed that some bacteria can become more virulent in space, raising important questions about astronaut health and the need for effective sanitation measures during long-term missions. The study of human physiology in space is another critical area of the presence of a space station in low Earth orbit provides several advantages for satellite operations, enhancing both the efficiency and effectiveness of these technologies. One of the primary benefits is that the International Space Station ISS, acts as a platform for testing new satellite technologies in a real space environment. Engineers and scientists can conduct experiments focused on satellite components, such as sensors and communication systems, to understand how they perform in the harsh conditions of space. This hands-on testing helps improve the design and functionality of future satellites, ensuring they are more reliable and capable of withstanding the challenges of orbit. Moreover, the ISS serves as a valuable communication relay for satellites. Its location allows it to act as a bridge between ground stations and satellites that may be out of direct line of sight. This is particularly useful for satellites in polar orbits, which can often be limited in their communication windows with Earth. By using the ISS as a relay point, data can be transmitted more efficiently back to Earth, reducing the chances of losing important information and enhancing real-time data collection. The space station also enables collaborative missions and international partnerships, which can lead to joint satellite projects. Countries can pool resources and expertise to develop satellites that serve multiple purposes, such as Earth observation, climate monitoring, or scientific research. This collaboration not only spreads out the costs involved in satellite development but also fosters innovation, as teams from different nations bring unique perspectives and technological advances to the table. 
Additionally, the ISS provides a unique vantage point for observing Earth in space, which can be beneficial for satellite calibration. Satellites that monitor climate change, weather patterns, or natural disasters can use data gathered from the ISS to fine-tune their own measurements. This cross-referencing helps ensure that satellite data is accurate and reliable, which is crucial for scientific research and decision-making. Furthermore, the ISS has the capability to serve as a launch site for smaller satellites. Instead of requiring a dedicated rocket launch, small satellites can be deployed from the space station. This approach reduces cost and simplifies logistics, enabling more frequent and flexible satellite launches. It opens up opportunities for universities and smaller organizations that may not have the resources for full-scale rocket launches to participate in space exploration and research. In addition, the presence of a space station fosters a greater understanding of the space environment itself. Astronauts aboard the ISS conduct experiments related to microgravity, radiation exposure, and other factors that affect satellite longevity and performance. The findings from these experiments help satellite designers anticipate challenges and develop solutions to extend them. As we look ahead to the future of the International Space Station ISS, it's essential to understand the various plans and discussions that are shaping its legacy and what may come next. The ISS has been a remarkable platform for scientific research and international collaboration in low Earth orbit since its first module was launched in 1998. However, as its operational life approaches the 2030s, space agencies and private companies are beginning to explore what could replace or succeed this iconic structure. One of the primary conversations centers around the idea of commercial space stations. NASA has already begun to partner with private companies like Axiom Space, which plans to build a commercial space station that could eventually attach to the ISS. This station aims to host astronauts, conduct research, and serve as a hub for space tourism and other commercial activities. Additionally, companies like Blue Origin and SpaceX are also eyeing opportunities in low Earth orbit, with visions of their own space stations that could support a variety of missions, from scientific research to manufacturing and even recreational activities for space tourists. Another aspect of the future of the ISS involves the transition of scientific research from the ISS to these new platforms. As the ISS continues to host experiments in microgravity, scientists are preparing to transfer their research to upcoming space stations. This transition is crucial for ensuring that the extensive knowledge gained from the ISS does not go to waste. In fact, NASA has been working on the Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the moon and eventually send astronauts to Mars. The research and technologies developed on the ISS will play a vital role in these ambitious missions, making it essential to create a seamless shift from the ISS to new habitats that can support long-duration space missions. Moreover, the international community is also considering the future of human presence in low Earth orbit. The ISS has been a symbol of cooperation among nations, and discussions are ongoing about how to maintain the spirit of collaboration in future endeavors. Space agencies from around the world, including those from Europe, Japan, and Russia, are exploring ways to continue working together on new projects, whether that means sharing technology for new space stations or collaborating on lunar and Martian missions. Some have even proposed the idea of an international space station that could serve as a research hub for various scientific disciplines, building on the success of the ISS. As we look at the broader context of human exploration of space, there are also discussions about the potential for deep space habitats. While the ISS has provided invaluable insights into living and working in space, Private companies such as SpaceX and Blue Origin are playing a significant role in shaping the future of space stations, fundamentally changing how we think about human presence in space. Traditionally, space stations like the International Space Station ISS, have been operated by government agencies, primarily NASA, and have relied heavily on public funding and international collaboration. However, with the emergence of these private companies, we are witnessing a new era where commercial interest and innovation are driving advancements in space infrastructure. SpaceX, for instance, has developed the Crew Dragon spacecraft, which successfully transports astronauts to and from the ISS. This capability not only demonstrates the reliability of private spacecraft but also reduces costs for space travel. 
By providing transportation services, companies like SpaceX are enabling more frequent crewed missions, thus increasing the potential for research and development in microgravity environments. Blue Origin, on the other hand, is focusing on building its own space station called Orbital Reef, which is designed to be a mixed-use business park in low Earth orbit. This station aims to host a variety of activities, including research, manufacturing, tourism, and more. The idea is to create a platform where different companies can come together to utilize the unique conditions of space for their specific needs. Such initiatives signal a shift toward a more commercialized approach to space exploration, where private enterprises can operate independently and profitably in space, compared to the traditional model that relied mainly on government funding. The competition between these private companies is also fostering innovation and reducing costs, which is essential for making space more accessible. For example, reusable rocket technology has been pioneered by SpaceX, allowing for significant savings on launch costs. This innovation is likely to lower the barrier to entry for future missions to space, paving the way for more players to enter the market and contribute to the development of space stations. Additionally, as private companies take on the responsibility of building and maintaining space stations, we could see a variety of designs and missions. This diversity could lead to specialized stations tailored for specific research projects, commercial activities, or even space tourism. Companies are also exploring the idea of partnerships with governments and research institutions, creating a collaborative ecosystem that could enhance scientific discovery and technological advancement in space. As these private companies continue to innovate and expand their capabilities, we can expect to see a future where space stations are not just platforms for scientific research but also bustling hubs of commercial activity. This new landscape will likely encourage more people to engage with space, whether through tourism, research, or entrepreneurship, ultimately. The Lunar Gateway is an exciting project that aims to create a space station orbiting the moon, and it holds significant potential for future lunar exploration. Positioned in a highly stable orbit, the Gateway will serve as a staging point for astronauts traveling to and from the lunar surface. This proximity allows for more efficient missions, enabling astronauts to land on the moon, conduct research, and return safely to the Gateway before heading back to Earth. The Lunar Gateway is designed to support a variety of missions, including crewed ones, research, and technology demonstrations, making it a versatile hub for activities beyond our planet. One of the most impressive aspects of the Lunar Gateway is its capability to provide a platform for international collaboration. Different countries and organizations can contribute modules and experiments, fostering a spirit of cooperation in space exploration. This collaboration could lead to joint missions, shared research, and advancements in technology, benefiting everyone involved. The Gateway will also be equipped with advanced systems to support long-duration human presence in space, allowing astronauts to conduct experiments in a microgravity environment and test life support technologies that will be crucial for future missions to Mars and beyond. Additionally, the Gateway's strategic location allows for easy access to various lunar regions, including the Moon's South Pole, which is believed to contain water ice. This ice could potentially be used for life support and fuel, making lunar missions more sustainable. The Gateway will enable scientists to study the Moon's resources and geology more effectively, as it can serve as a base for robotic landers and rovers that will explore the lunar surface. This access to the moon will enhance our understanding of its history, geology, and the potential for human habitation. The Lunar Gateway also plays a crucial role in preparing for future missions to Mars. By using the Gateway as a testing ground for technologies and operations that will be needed for deep space exploration, NASA and its partners can gather valuable data and experience. This includes developing the capabilities to support astronauts on long-duration missions, testing habitats, and refining the systems necessary for life support and communication over vast distances. Moreover, the Gateway will have a robust suite of scientific instruments, which will allow it to conduct astronomical observations and studies of the Earth and other celestial bodies. This will provide opportunities to conduct experiments that cannot be done on Earth, further expanding our knowledge of the universe. The Lunar Gateway is not just a station, it represents a stepping stone into deeper space exploration, paving the way for humanity to learn more about the Moon, Mars, and the broader cosmos.
Space stations play a crucial role in advancing our understanding of climate change and the dynamics of Earth's atmosphere. By orbiting the planet, these stations provide a unique vantage point for observing the Earth's surface and its atmosphere from above. Instruments aboard these stations can measure various atmospheric components, including greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide and methane, which are critical for understanding how human activity is affecting our climate. The continuous monitoring of these gases helps scientists track their concentrations over time, providing valuable data to model climate change scenarios and predict future changes. Moreover, space stations facilitate experiments that are not possible on the ground. For instance, they can host experiments that examine how materials and biological processes behave in microgravity, which can inform us about fundamental processes that also occur in Earth's atmosphere. The data gathered from these experiments can help improve our understanding of cloud formation, atmospheric chemistry, and energy flows that contribute to climate dynamics. Additionally, space stations can serve as platforms for testing new technologies aimed at monitoring Earth's climate. Advanced sensors and satellites can be deployed from these stations to gather high-resolution data on land use, deforestation, and urbanization, all of which have significant impacts on climate. This remote sensing capability enables scientists to collect data over vast areas, providing insights into how local changes contribute to global climatic shifts. Furthermore, the collaborative nature of international space stations fosters partnerships among countries to share climate data and research findings. This global cooperation enhances our collective knowledge and response strategies regarding climate change and its impacts on Earth's systems. In essence, space stations are not just isolated platforms for scientific research, they are integral to a broader network of climate observation and understanding, enabling scientists to address one of the most pressing challenges of our time. As we continue to explore the universe, the insights gained from these platforms will be instrumental in informing policy and guiding efforts to mitigate climate change on our home planet. Building space stations on the Moon or Mars presents exciting possibilities for human colonization, as these outposts could serve as vital hubs for exploration, research, and eventual settlement. One significant implication of establishing a presence on the Moon or Mars is the ability to conduct long-term scientific experiments in environments that are vastly different from Earth. This could lead to breakthroughs in our understanding of biology, physics, and the potential for sustaining human life beyond our planet. For instance, researchers could study how microgravity affects human health over extended periods, which is critical for planning future missions to distant destinations like Mars. Moreover, these space stations could function as launch pads for deeper space missions. By having a base on the moon, astronauts could more easily reach other celestial bodies, as the gravitational pull is less than that of Earth, requiring less fuel and making travel more efficient. This could also facilitate the mining of lunar resources, such as water ice, which is crucial for supporting human life and could be converted into hydrogen and oxygen for rocket fuel, enhancing the feasibility of missions to Mars and beyond. There's also the aspect of international collaboration and competition that comes with building space stations on the Moon or Mars. Countries and private companies may work together to share knowledge and resources, fostering a spirit of cooperation that could lead to more significant advancements in technology and space exploration. On the flip side, this race to colonize other planets could spark geopolitical tensions, as nations vie for control over extraterrestrial territories and resources. Establishing a foothold on the Moon or Mars would also require addressing numerous technical challenges, such as developing life support systems, habitats, and sustainable energy sources. These innovations could have far-reaching implications, not only for space colonization but also for improving technology on Earth, such as advancements in renewable energy and closed-loop life support systems that could benefit environmental efforts. The psychological effects of living on another planet must also be considered. Humans are social beings, and the isolation of a space station on the Moon or Mars could pose mental health challenges. Creating supportive communities and maintaining communication with Earth will be vital for the well-being of astronauts and colonists. This could lead to the development of new forms of social structures and governance models that prioritize mental health and community cohesion. Finally, the ethical implications of colonizing another planet cannot be overlooked. 
As we consider building space stations, we must also reflect on our responsibilities toward any potential extraterrestrial life forms in the environments we are altering. The lessons learned from environmental stewardship on Earth could guide. Space stations play a crucial role in the advancement of new materials and manufacturing processes in the unique environment of microgravity. When scientists conduct experiments in space, they can observe how materials behave without the interference of gravity, which can lead to surprising results that are not possible on Earth. For instance, the way liquids mix, crystals grow, and metals solidify can differ significantly in space. This allows researchers to create materials with unique properties that could not be replicated in a standard laboratory setting. One fascinating example is the study of alloys and their microstructure. On the International Space Station ISS, scientists have been able to create alloys that are purer and have different structural arrangements compared to those made on Earth. These new alloys may be stronger, lighter, or more resistant to corrosion. This has potential applications in industries ranging from aerospace to medicine. The microgravity environment allows for the formation of larger, more well-ordered crystals, which can enhance the performance of materials used in everything from electronics to advanced manufacturing. Additionally, space stations facilitate the development of advanced manufacturing techniques, such as 3D printing. In microgravity, the process of layering materials can lead to more precise and efficient manufacturing. This could revolutionize how we produce goods both in space and on Earth. For example, astronauts on the ISS have already used 3D printing to create tools and parts on demand, reducing the need to send everything from Earth. This capability not only saves resources but also allows for more flexibility in addressing unexpected needs during space missions. The impact extends beyond just the materials themselves, it also influences how we think about design and production. Engineers and scientists are challenged to rethink how products are made when traditional constraints of gravity are removed. This can lead to innovative designs that optimize performance and functionality in ways that were previously unimagined. Moreover, the research conducted on space stations often has implications for sustainability. The ability to manufacture materials with less waste and from recycled components can lead to greener practices both in space and on Earth. As we learn to utilize local resources, such as asteroids or lunar materials, the potential for sustainable development in space increases, paving the way for future colonization efforts. As the exploration of space continues, the knowledge gained from space stations will likely drive the next generation of materials science and manufacturing processes. Each experiment conducted in the unique conditions of space not only enhances our understanding of the universe but also contributes to technological advancements that benefit life on Earth. Modular space station designs could significantly enhance future exploration missions by offering flexibility and adaptability that traditional, fixed designs cannot provide. One of the main advantages of a modular approach is the ability to expand the station as missions evolve. As new technologies and scientific goals emerge, additional modules can be added to accommodate new research facilities, living quarters, or specialized laboratories without the need to build an entirely new station from scratch. This adaptability is particularly useful for long-duration missions to destinations like Mars or the Moon, where the scientific objectives may change based on initial findings. Another benefit of modular designs is the ease of maintenance and repair. If a module becomes damaged or malfunctions, it can potentially be removed and replaced, minimizing the risk to the entire space station and allowing for continued operation. This kind of design fosters a culture of innovation and experimentation, as engineers and scientists can test new systems and technologies in one module while keeping the rest of the station operational. Moreover, modular space stations can facilitate international collaboration. Different countries can contribute their own modules, each equipped with unique instruments and capabilities, creating a rich tapestry of international scientific cooperation. This not only enhances the variety of research conducted but also fosters a sense of shared purpose among nations, which is vital for large-scale exploration missions that require significant resources and commitment. Additionally, the modular approach can optimize crew dynamics. By allowing for separate living and working spaces, crew members can have the privacy they need while still being able to collaborate effectively. 
Different modules can be designed for specific tasks, such as scientific research, physical fitness, or recreation, which can help maintain crew morale and productivity during lengthy missions. Safety is another crucial aspect where modular designs shine. In the event of an emergency, such as a fire or a toxic leak, affected modules can be isolated from the main station, ensuring the safety of the crew. This design feature allows for more robust safety protocols and can be particularly important for missions where the crew is far from Earth and cannot rely on immediate rescue. Furthermore, modular designs can incorporate advancements in technology and sustainable practices. For example, new modules could include advanced life support systems that recycle air and water more efficiently or renewable energy sources like solar panels that can be tailored to the needs of the mission. This could lead to more sustainable operations in space, reducing the amount of supplies that need to be sent from Earth. Lastly, the potential for autonomous assembly and maintenance of modular components could revolutionize how we build and maintain space stations. Future missions could include robots or drones capable. As we look to the future of space exploration, the integration of artificial intelligence AI, into the operation of space stations presents exciting possibilities. Imagine stepping aboard a space station where AI systems manage daily operations, ensuring everything runs smoothly. These advanced AI programs could monitor life support systems, adjusting oxygen levels, temperature, and humidity based on real-time data, which is crucial for the well-being of astronauts. They could also predict potential equipment failures before they happen, alerting crew members to carry out preventative maintenance, thereby extending the life of expensive machinery and reducing the risk of catastrophic failures. Moreover, AI could assist astronauts in research tasks. With machine learning algorithms, AI could analyze vast amounts of data quickly, helping scientists identify patterns or anomalies in experiments conducted in microgravity. For example, if astronauts are growing plants in space, AI could optimize conditions by analyzing growth rates and environmental factors, providing recommendations for adjustments that could enhance plant health and yield. This capability could lead to breakthroughs in our understanding of how life adapts to space, which is essential for long-term human presence on other planetary bodies. Communication in space can also be enhanced by AI. Given the delays in signals between Earth and distant space stations, AI could act as an intermediary, processing information and making decisions when immediate human input is impossible. This could be crucial during emergencies, where rapid response is needed, and astronauts must rely on AI to guide them through procedures while they await instructions from mission control. Furthermore, AI could play a vital role in crew management and well-being. Space missions can be isolating and stressful, and AI systems could monitor the mental health and emotional states of astronauts. By analyzing voice tones, facial expressions, and even biological markers, AI could provide real-time feedback to help manage stress levels, suggest relaxation techniques, or even alert crew members when someone may need additional support, creating a more harmonious living and working environment. As we envision future space stations, the potential for AI to handle logistics and resource management becomes clearer. AI could optimize water recycling systems, track food supplies, and manage waste disposal efficiently. It could ensure that resources are used sustainably, which is imperative in an environment where every ounce of material counts. By learning from patterns in resource usage, AI could suggest improvements, streamline operations, and reduce the overall footprint of space missions. The integration of AI into space stations may also revolutionize training for astronauts. Virtual reality combined with AI-driven simulations could create realistic training scenarios that prepare crews for a wide range of situations they might. Space stations serve as vital laboratories for researchers investigating the potential for extraterrestrial life, providing a unique environment to conduct experiments that mimic conditions found in space and on other celestial bodies. One of the key roles of space stations, particularly the International Space Station ISS, is to allow scientists to study the effects of microgravity on living organisms, which is crucial for understanding how life might adapt to different environments beyond Earth. For instance, experiments on the ISS have examined how bacteria respond to low gravity, revealing changes in growth patterns and virulence that could inform our understanding of life in space. 
Moreover, space stations enable the cultivation of microorganisms and plants in space, providing insights into whether life could be sustained on other planets or moons, such as Mars or Europa. Additionally, space stations facilitate the testing of technologies that could be used for future missions to explore other worlds. Instruments designed to search for signs of life, such as biosignatures in soil or atmospheric samples, can be tested in the controlled environment of a space station before being deployed on distant missions. This research is critical, as it helps scientists refine their methods and ensure they are prepared to gather data effectively when exploring extraterrestrial environments. Furthermore, space stations are invaluable for preparing astronauts for long-duration missions, which are essential for the exploration of more distant locations in our solar system. By simulating the conditions of space travel, researchers can study the psychological and physiological effects on astronauts, addressing challenges that may arise during missions aimed at searching for life beyond Earth. Understanding how humans cope with isolation and limited resources is crucial, especially when considering missions that could last several years, such as a manned mission to Mars. In recent years, there have been exciting discoveries that point to the potential for life beyond our planet, such as the detection of organic molecules on Mars and the intriguing plumes of water vapor observed on Europa. Space stations provide a platform for collaborative international research that brings together scientists from various fields. This collaboration opens up new avenues for understanding not only how life originated on Earth but also how it might exist elsewhere in the universe. By studying extremophiles, organisms that thrive in extreme conditions on Earth, researchers can glean insights into how life might survive in harsh environments elsewhere, such as the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn. The role of space stations in the search for extraterrestrial life is multifaceted, combining biological research, technological development, and human factors studies. Each of these aspects contributes to our overall understanding of life in the universe and helps. Space stations can play a crucial role in preparing for asteroid mining operations by serving as testing grounds and research facilities in low Earth orbit. One of the major challenges of asteroid mining is the unique environment of space and the specific technologies required to operate in it. Space stations provide a controlled environment where scientists and engineers can develop and refine the tools and techniques needed for mining asteroids. For instance, they can test robotic systems that will be used to extract resources from asteroids, experimenting with how these machines perform in microgravity conditions. Moreover, space stations can facilitate the study of materials that might be found on asteroids. By bringing samples of asteroids to the station, researchers can analyze their composition in real time, helping to determine the best methods for extraction and processing. This knowledge is vital since different asteroids contain different types of metals and minerals. Understanding these materials' properties can lead to better mining strategies and technologies. Another important aspect is the training of astronauts and engineers who will eventually operate mining missions. Space stations can simulate the conditions of an asteroid environment, allowing teams to practice the necessary skills and protocols needed for successful mining operations. This hands-on experience is invaluable, as it prepares the crew for the challenges they will face in the vacuum of space, including issues like radiation exposure and equipment malfunction. Additionally, space stations can serve as a staging point for missions to asteroids. They can act as a launch platform for spacecraft heading out to mining sites, allowing for easier resupply and maintenance of these missions. By using space stations as a base, the logistics of launching missions to asteroids become more manageable, reducing the risk involved and increasing the potential for successful operations. Finally, collaboration is a key benefit of using space stations for asteroid mining preparation. They can foster partnerships between different space agencies and commercial companies, pooling resources and expertise to tackle the complex challenges of space mining. This collaborative approach can drive innovation and lead to breakthroughs in technology that might not be possible in isolation. Overall, space stations are not just platforms for living and working in space, they are integral to paving the way for future asteroid mining ventures, allowing humanity to tap into the vast resources that the universe has to offer. As humanity looks to establish permanent habitats in space, a myriad of ethical considerations arises that requires careful examination.
One of the foremost concerns is the potential impact on celestial bodies. Establishing human habitats could lead to contamination of other planets and moons, which may interfere with any existing ecosystems or the search for extraterrestrial life. This raises questions about our responsibility to preserve the integrity of these environments, much like how we strive to protect endangered species in their habitats on Earth. The idea of planetary protection is significant, urging us to consider whether we should leave untouched worlds as they are, or if we have the right to alter them for our own purposes. Another major ethical issue involves the rights of future generations. If we begin to colonize other planets, what obligations do we have to ensure that these locations are sustainable and livable for those who will inhabit them in the future? This includes considerations about resource allocation and environmental management. If we strip a celestial body of its resources for our own benefit, we could be leaving behind a barren wasteland for those who come after us. Ethical stewardship of space requires that we think beyond our immediate needs and consider the long-term consequences of our actions. Moreover, the question of governance in space habitats cannot be overlooked. Who will have the authority to make decisions about these new worlds? The potential for conflict arises if multiple nations or private entities claim ownership over parts of space. This might necessitate the establishment of new legal frameworks and governance structures that ensure fair access to resources and protect the rights of all stakeholders involved. The idea of space as a final frontier does not absolve us from the need for ethical governance, rather, it amplifies the necessity for cooperation and mutual respect among nations, especially as the commercial interests in space grow. Equity is another critical consideration. As we venture into space, how do we ensure that the benefits of space exploration and habitation are accessible to all, rather than just a privileged few? The risk is that space could become yet another arena where wealth and power are concentrated, leaving many behind. Ensuring that all of humanity has a stake in the opportunities presented by space will require deliberate policies aimed at inclusivity and fairness. Finally, the psychological and social impacts of living in space must also be considered. What will life be like for individuals and families living in enclosed, artificial environments far from Earth? The mental health challenges that arise from isolation, confinement, and the absence of earthly comforts will need to be addressed. Creating a balanced community. Space stations play a unique and vital role in planetary defense strategies, serving as hubs for monitoring, research, and coordination efforts aimed at protecting Earth from potential threats. One of the primary functions of space stations, like the International Space Station ISS, is to provide a platform for scientists and researchers to study various cosmic phenomena, including asteroids and comets. By observing these celestial bodies from space, researchers can gather crucial data about their orbits, compositions, and potential trajectories that could pose a risk to Earth. Moreover, space stations facilitate international collaboration in space research, bringing together scientists and engineers from multiple countries to work on shared objectives. This collaboration is essential for developing and testing new technologies designed to detect and deflect asteroids that might come close to Earth. For example, space stations can host experiments and tests for systems that could be deployed in the event of an imminent threat. These might include kinetic impactors, which are spacecraft designed to collide with an asteroid to change its course, or gravity tractors, which use the gravitational pull of a spacecraft to alter an asteroid's trajectory over time. In addition to their observational capabilities, space stations can be critical in the development of advanced warning systems. Equipped with telescopes and sensors, they can monitor space debris and track near-Earth objects NEOs, in real time. This continuous surveillance is essential for providing early warnings about potential impacts, allowing scientists and governments to devise response strategies in a timely manner. Furthermore, space stations contribute to public awareness and education about planetary defense. By engaging in outreach programs and sharing discoveries with the broader community, they help foster a better understanding of the risks posed by asteroids and comets. This is crucial for building support for planetary defense initiatives and promoting responsible space exploration. In terms of logistics, space stations can also serve as launch points for missions aimed at intercepting dangerous asteroids or comets. Being situated in low Earth orbit, they allow for more efficient launches and reduce the energy required to send spacecraft towards their targets. 
This capability is particularly important for rapid response in the event of a detected threat. Overall, the multifaceted contributions of space stations to planetary defense encompass research, international collaboration, technology development, monitoring, public engagement, and operational logistics, all of which are essential in safeguarding our planet from cosmic hazards. As we set our sights on deep space missions, particularly those aimed at Mars and beyond, advancements in life support systems become crucial for ensuring the safety and well-being of astronauts. One of the primary challenges is providing a reliable supply of breathable air. Current systems typically use chemical processes to regenerate oxygen from carbon dioxide, but for longer missions, these systems need enhancements to ensure efficiency and reliability. New technologies are being explored, such as advanced bioreactors that can utilize algae or other organisms to produce oxygen and absorb carbon dioxide more effectively. This biological approach could provide a sustainable method to maintain air quality over extended periods. Another significant aspect is water recycling. In space, every drop of water is precious, and current systems can recycle about 90% of wastewater. However, for longer missions, we need to push this percentage higher. Innovative filtration and purification technologies are being developed, including advanced membranes that can remove contaminants more effectively. Researchers are also looking into ways to extract water from the Martian atmosphere or from ice deposits on celestial bodies, which would reduce the amount of water that needs to be carried from Earth. Food production is another vital component for deep space missions. Instead of relying solely on prepackaged meals, future systems may incorporate hydroponics or aeroponics to grow fresh food in space. This not only provides nutrition but also contributes to the psychological well-being of astronauts, as fresh produce can boost morale during long missions. Additionally, advancements in food preservation methods could ensure that food remains safe and nutritious for longer periods, minimizing waste. Temperature regulation also plays a pivotal role in life support. Spacecraft must maintain a stable internal environment, protecting astronauts from the extreme temperatures of space. Future materials and technologies are being researched to improve thermal insulation and radiation shielding, ensuring that living quarters remain comfortable and safe. Moreover, advancements in monitoring health and environmental conditions within the spacecraft will be crucial. Wearable technology that tracks vital signs and environmental sensors that monitor air quality, humidity, and radiation levels are being developed to allow crew members to respond quickly to any issues that arise. This integration of health monitoring with life support systems will help maintain a safe living environment. Lastly, psychological well-being cannot be overlooked. Long-duration missions can lead to isolation and stress among crew members, so innovations in virtual reality and communication technologies may become part of life support systems. These tools can provide astronauts with a sense of connection to Earth and offer recreational activities to help maintain mental health. In summary, the future of life support systems for as we look toward the future of space exploration, one of the most exciting advancements is the potential of 3D printing technology to revolutionize construction on space stations. In the harsh environment of space, traditional construction methods face significant challenges, such as the need to transport all materials from Earth, which is costly and inefficient. However, 3D printing offers a game-changing solution by enabling the creation of structures using materials that are already available in space, such as lunar regolith or Martian soil. This not only reduces the weight and volume of materials that need to be launched from Earth but also allows for on-site construction, which is crucial for long-term missions. Imagine astronauts on a lunar base using a 3D printer to create habitats, tools, and other necessary structures. By using in situ resources, they can print out walls, roofs, and even intricate components tailored to their specific needs. This flexibility is vital in a space environment where conditions can change rapidly, and the ability to adapt and create on demand can mean the difference between success and failure. Furthermore, 3D printing can enable the construction of complex geometries that would be difficult or impossible to achieve with traditional building techniques. This includes creating lightweight, strong structures that can better withstand the extreme conditions of space. Another fascinating aspect of 3D printing in space is the potential for bioprinting, 
which involves printing living tissues or even food. As missions to Mars and beyond become a reality, the ability to produce food and medical supplies on demand could greatly enhance the sustainability of these missions. Imagine a scenario where astronauts can print fresh food or even repair biological tissues in real time, significantly improving their quality of life and health during long-duration space flights. Furthermore, 3D printing allows for rapid prototyping and testing of new designs. Engineers can create and test multiple versions of a component or structure on site, ensuring that the final product meets the demands of space life. This iterative process can lead to innovative designs that enhance the functionality and safety of space habitats. The technology also fosters collaboration, as designs can be shared and printed by different teams across various locations, whether on the Moon, Mars, or in orbit. The implications of 3D printing technology extend beyond construction, it could also play a critical role in the future of space settlements. As humanity aims to establish a permanent presence beyond Earth, the ability to build and expand habitats quickly and efficiently will be essential. 3D printing can support the growth of Living in space for long periods can have significant psychological effects on astronauts. One of the primary concerns is isolation. In the confined environment of a space station, astronauts are cut off from their usual social connections, which can lead to feelings of loneliness and depression. The absence of natural sunlight and the constant artificial lighting can disrupt circadian rhythms, making it harder to maintain a healthy sleep cycle. Sleep deprivation is a common issue that can exacerbate stress and lead to mood swings, impacting overall mental health. Another psychological challenge is the monotony of life in space. The daily routines can become repetitive, and the lack of varied environments can lead to boredom. This can affect motivation and morale, making it challenging for astronauts to stay engaged with their work. The limited recreational activities available in space can contribute to this feeling of confinement. To combat these issues, astronauts often have scheduled downtime for relaxation and entertainment, such as watching movies or reading, but it may not be enough to fully alleviate the effects of boredom. Team dynamics can also play a crucial role in the psychological well-being of astronauts. Living and working closely with others in a small space can lead to interpersonal conflicts. Stress from work-related tasks, combined with the pressure of living in isolation, can result in tension among crew members. Effective communication and conflict resolution skills are essential to maintaining a harmonious environment. Mission planners often prepare astronauts for these challenges through training, but unexpected disputes can still arise in the high-pressure context of space. Moreover, the psychological effects of being in a microgravity environment can't be overlooked. The unique sensations of floating and the disorientation that sometimes accompanies it can lead to feelings of unease. Some astronauts report experiencing a sense of detachment from their bodies, which can be unsettling. This disconnection from physical reality may also affect their emotional experiences, as the body and mind adapt to a new way of living. Psychological resilience becomes vital for astronauts on long missions. They often undergo extensive psychological and emotional training before their missions to prepare for the challenges of space living. Developing coping strategies and support systems, both on board and from mission control back on Earth, is crucial for maintaining mental health. Regular check-ins with psychologists are also part of the strategy to monitor their well-being and provide support when needed. The effects of long-term space habitation are not just limited to the individual but can also impact the mission's success. The mental state of astronauts can influence their performance and decision-making abilities. As space agencies plan for longer missions, such as those two current space stations, like the International Space Station ISS, face significant challenges when it comes to radiation exposure, which is a major concern for astronauts living and working in space. In low Earth orbit, cosmic rays and solar particle events present risks that can affect the health of crew members. To combat this, engineers and scientists have developed several strategies to protect astronauts from harmful radiation. One of the primary methods for radiation protection on the ISS involves the careful selection and design of materials used in the station's construction. The walls of the ISS are made from a combination of aluminum, Kevlar, and other materials that help to absorb or deflect some of the incoming radiation. 
Additionally, the internal layout of the station is designed with safety in mind. Living quarters and work areas are located in parts of the station that offer the most shielding from radiation. For example, the modules closest to the center of the station, where the walls have more shielding, are often where astronauts spend the most time, especially during solar storms or heightened radiation events. Another effective strategy is the use of active radiation detection and monitoring systems. The ISS is equipped with various sensors that continuously monitor radiation levels. This data is crucial for understanding when radiation risks are elevated, allowing astronauts to take precautions, such as moving to better protected areas within the station. These systems provide real-time information and ensure that crew members are aware of their environment, which is essential for their safety. Moreover, mission planners take solar activity into account when scheduling spacewalks and other outdoor activities. During periods of increased solar activity, such as solar flares, astronauts are advised to remain indoors and shielded. This careful planning plays a significant role in minimizing exposure. Research on radiation effects is ongoing, and scientists are always looking for new ways to enhance protection. One innovative approach being explored involves the development of advanced materials that could potentially provide better shielding. For instance, research into polyethylene and other hydrogen-rich materials shows promise, as hydrogen is effective at blocking certain types of radiation. Additionally, scientists are investigating the potential of using water as a protective barrier, since water is an excellent radiation shield, storing large amounts of water around or within spacecraft could offer a dual purpose of providing a resource for astronauts and shielding them from radiation. Furthermore, understanding the biological effects of radiation exposure is crucial for developing countermeasures. Studies on how cosmic radiation impacts human health, particularly focusing on the risks of cancer and other long-term effects, help inform the design of future habitats and missions. Space stations, particularly those in low Earth orbit (LEO), offer a unique environment that can significantly enhance commercial activities in various sectors. One major way they facilitate these activities is by providing a platform for research and development. Companies can conduct experiments in microgravity that are impossible to replicate on Earth, leading to breakthroughs in materials science, pharmaceuticals, and biotechnology. For instance, the International Space Station ISS, has already hosted experiments that have resulted in the development of new drugs and advanced materials, showcasing how the unique conditions of space can foster innovation. Additionally, space stations can serve as hubs for manufacturing specialized products that require microgravity, such as fiber optics or certain alloys. These products can have applications on Earth, and the ability to produce them in space can reduce cost and improve quality, attracting businesses interested in high-precision manufacturing. Moreover, space stations can support tourism and entertainment ventures. With a growing interest in space tourism, private companies are looking to send tourists to experience life in microgravity. This not only promotes the idea of space travel but also opens up a new market for businesses associated with travel, hospitality, and entertainment in space. Imagine a future where individuals can book a trip to a space station for a few days, enjoying breathtaking views of Earth while participating in unique activities designed for the microgravity environment. Another critical aspect is the potential for satellite servicing and repair. Space stations can act as points where satellites can be brought for maintenance or upgrades, extending their operational lives and reducing the need for new satellites to be launched. This service could become an essential business model, as many satellites are currently launched without the ability to be serviced once in orbit. Furthermore, space stations can facilitate educational activities. They can host students and researchers from around the world, allowing them to conduct experiments and learn about space firsthand. This educational opportunity can inspire the next generation of scientists and engineers, while also creating a lucrative market for educational programs and materials related to space science. Finally, the infrastructure provided by space stations can help in the development of a robust space economy. As more companies begin to invest in and utilize these platforms, a myriad of services such as logistics, transportation, and communication will emerge, creating a comprehensive ecosystem for commercial activities in space. 
the collaboration between private companies and governmental space agencies could lead to innovative solutions and technologies that further enhance the viability of commercial operations in low Earth orbit. Through these various avenues, space stations are poised to become vital players in the future of space commerce. As space tourism becomes more popular, the role of space stations is poised to undergo significant transformation. Traditionally, space stations like the International Space Station ISS, have primarily served as platforms for scientific research and international cooperation in space exploration. However, with the rise of commercial space travel, these installations could evolve into bustling hubs for tourists, researchers, and private enterprises. Imagine a future where space stations are not just places for astronauts but vibrant destinations for civilians eager to experience life in microgravity. Space stations might expand their facilities to include luxury accommodations, entertainment options, and educational experiences that cater to tourists. This could include observation decks with stunning views of Earth and space, virtual reality experiences that allow visitors to interact with the cosmos, and even recreational activities like spacewalks or zero-gravity sports. The architecture of these stations may also change, moving away from purely functional designs to more aesthetic ones that enhance the visitor experience, incorporating elements that promote relaxation and enjoyment in a weightless environment. Additionally, as private companies venture into space tourism, they may collaborate with existing space stations or even construct new ones specifically designed for commercial use. These new stations could focus on providing specialized services, such as health and wellness retreats in space, where visitors can engage in physical activities unique to microgravity that promote fitness and relaxation. This shift could create a new market, attracting not only thrill-seekers but also those interested in health education, and research opportunities outside Earth's atmosphere. Furthermore, the growing interest in space tourism could lead to an increase in research opportunities. With more people visiting space stations, scientists might conduct studies on the physiological and psychological effects of space travel on tourists. This data could be invaluable for future long-duration missions to Mars or other destinations, helping to ensure the health and safety of all travelers. The presence of civilians could also inspire new scientific projects, as tourists bring diverse backgrounds and perspectives that enrich the scientific community's outreach and engagement. As the demand for space tourism rises, the logistics surrounding space stations will also need to be reevaluated. This may involve developing new transport systems to ferry tourists between Earth and space stations, enhancing safety protocols, and ensuring that the experience is not only enjoyable but also secure. With commercial space travel becoming more accessible, space stations could become the starting point for deeper space exploration, serving as gateways to the Moon, Mars, and beyond, thus bridging the gap between tourism and serious scientific missions. In this evolving landscape, the future of space stations appears bright, as they as we look toward the future of space exploration, the logistical challenges of resupplying space stations become increasingly complex and fascinating. One of the primary issues is the sheer distance involved. Unlike resupplying a remote base on Earth, sending supplies to a space station in low Earth orbit, or even to one that may be placed on the Moon or Mars, requires precise calculations and long travel times. For instance, resupply missions to the International Space Station ISS, typically take a few hours to a couple of days, but missions to more distant locations could take weeks or even months. This extended timeline could complicate supply monitoring, as astronauts need to have enough food, water, and equipment to last until the next shipment arrives, which necessitates careful planning and inventory management. Moreover, the spacecraft used for resupply must be designed to withstand the harsh conditions of space travel, including radiation, extreme temperatures, and the vacuum of space. This means that developing new, more durable spacecraft is essential, as well as ensuring that the supplies themselves can survive the journey without degradation. Another layer of complexity arises from the need to maintain life support systems aboard the space station. Any delay in resupply could jeopardize the health and safety of the crew, making it critical to have redundancies in place. This could involve having backup supplies or even designing the station to be more self-sustaining, such as growing food on-site or recycling water more efficiently. 
Additionally, launching supplies into space is incredibly expensive. The cost per kilogram to send items into orbit is remarkably high, so maximizing the efficiency of each launch is crucial. This can involve strategic planning about what is sent, how it is packed, and ensuring that every launch is used to its fullest potential. Innovations in reusable rocket technology can help reduce costs, but the initial investment and development of these technologies can be significant. Furthermore, the coordination between various space agencies and private companies becomes vital, as these entities often work together to ensure that missions are successful. This requires clear communication and planning, which can be complicated by different priorities and operational methods among various partners. Transportation logistics also play a key role. For resupply missions that go beyond low Earth orbit, like those to the Moon or Mars, establishing reliable transportation routes is essential. The idea of a space highway that allows for regular travel and resupply could become a reality, but developing the infrastructure needed for such a system presents significant challenges. This includes establishing fuel depots in space where spacecraft. Space stations play a significant role in educational outreach and promoting STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics initiatives on Earth, creating exciting opportunities for students and educators alike. One of the most impactful ways they achieve this is through real-time communication between astronauts on the International Space Station ISS, and classrooms around the world. These live video feeds allow students to interact directly with astronauts, asking questions about life in space, conducting experiments, and learning about the scientific research being conducted in microgravity. Such interactions not only make science more relatable but also inspire students to consider careers in STEM fields. Additionally, space stations serve as platforms for conducting unique experiments that can't be performed on Earth. Educators can use these experiments to create engaging lesson plans that highlight the principles of physics, biology, and chemistry in the context of space exploration. For instance, students can learn about fluid dynamics by observing how liquids behave in microgravity or explore the effects of space radiation on biological organisms through experiments conducted by astronauts. The results of these experiments can be shared with students, sparking their interest in scientific inquiry and experimentation. Moreover, space stations often collaborate with various educational organizations to develop curricula and resources that align with learning standards. Programs such as the NASA STEM on Station initiative provide educators with tools and materials to integrate space science into their classrooms effectively. These resources may include lesson plans, videos, and interactive activities that help students understand complex scientific concepts through the lens of space exploration. By making these materials accessible, space stations not only enhance learning but also encourage teachers to incorporate more STEM content into their instruction. Furthermore, space stations support competitions and challenges aimed at students. For example, initiatives like the Student Space Flight Experiments program allow students to design and propose experiments to be conducted in space. The winning experiments are launched to the ISS, where students can see their ideas come to life, fostering a sense of achievement and a deeper understanding of the scientific process. Such experiences can motivate students, showing them that their contributions to science can have a real impact, even beyond our planet. In addition to formal education, space stations also make use of social media and online platforms to engage a broader audience. Astronauts often share their experiences and insights through live streams, blog posts, and social media updates, reaching millions of people around the globe. This accessibility helps demystify space exploration and makes it more approachable for everyone, regardless of their background or location by sharing the wonders of living and working in space, space. Space debris poses significant challenges for the future operations of space stations, affecting everything from safety protocols to the longevity of missions. As more satellites and spacecraft are launched into orbit, the amount of debris increases, creating a hazardous environment in low Earth orbit where many space stations, including the International Space Station ISS, operate. This debris can include defunct satellites, spent rocket stages, and fragments from collisions or disintegration events. 
even tiny pieces of debris, traveling at very high speeds, can cause serious damage due to the immense kinetic energy they carry, which is a critical concern for the safety of astronauts aboard space stations. To mitigate these risks, operators of space stations must continuously monitor the space environment for potential debris threats. This monitoring involves tracking thousands of pieces of debris using ground-based radar and space surveillance networks. When a significant piece of debris is projected to come close to a space station, mission control can execute pre-planned maneuvers to change the station's orbit and avoid a collision. However, these maneuvers require careful planning and quick action, which adds complexity to daily operations. The presence of space debris also affects the design and construction of new space stations. Engineers must incorporate shielding to protect sensitive equipment and crew members from potential impacts. This means that future space stations may need to be built with stronger materials or additional protective layers, increasing cost and development time. Furthermore, the operational lifespan of existing and future space stations could be compromised, as repairs to damage caused by debris might not always be feasible in orbit. As space exploration expands, with plans for lunar bases and missions to Mars, the problem of space debris will become even more pressing. Increased traffic in space will likely lead to more collisions in the creation of additional debris. The situation raises questions about the sustainability of long-term human presence in space and whether current frameworks for space traffic management will be adequate. To address this growing concern, international cooperation is essential. Countries and space agencies must work together to develop guidelines and technologies aimed at debris mitigation and removal. Proposals have emerged for active debris removal missions, which involve sending specialized spacecraft to capture and deorbit larger pieces of debris, but these solutions are still in the experimental stage. Moreover, the rise of commercial space companies has led to a significant increase in satellite launches, further complicating the issue. With more players in the game, ensuring that all operators adhere to best practices for debris prevention is crucial. This includes designing satellites that can deorbit safely at the end of their operational. As humanity's presence in space expands, the governance of space stations will likely require a sophisticated set of international treaties to ensure peaceful and cooperative use. Currently, treaties like the Outer Space Treaty of 1967 lay the groundwork by promoting the use of space for peaceful purposes and emphasizing the importance of international cooperation. However, as more countries and private entities develop their own space stations, the need for updated agreements becomes crucial. Future treaties could evolve to address issues such as resource allocation, environmental protection, and the responsibilities of nations and private companies operating in space. For example, as space stations become more like floating cities, questions about waste management and the impact of human activities on the space environment will need to be addressed. Moreover, with advancements in technology, the potential for space tourism and commercial activities may lead to a need for regulations governing the conduct of non-governmental entities in space habitats. Treaties could establish guidelines for safety standards and operational protocols to ensure that all parties adhere to certain norms, promoting not only safety but also fairness in the utilization of space resources. International collaboration would be essential, with nations working together to establish a framework that balances competition with cooperation. This could involve creating an international space agency that oversees the activities of space stations, ensuring that they operate within a set of agreed-upon guidelines. Furthermore, as space stations become hubs for scientific research, treaties might evolve to facilitate knowledge sharing and collaboration among nations, allowing scientists from around the world to work together on experiments that benefit all of humanity. Intellectual property rights could also become a key topic, as countries and corporations look to protect their innovations while still contributing to the communal knowledge base. One potential evolution could involve creating a system for sharing the benefits of discoveries made in space, ensuring that advancements contribute to global society rather than being monopolized by a few entities. In addition, the geopolitical landscape will influence how these treaties are structured. As more nations develop their own space capabilities, the risk of conflict over resources or operational space increases. Future treaties may need to include mechanisms for dispute resolution, ensuring that any conflicts can be addressed fairly and swiftly. 
This could involve establishing an international tribunal specifically for space-related disputes, where countries could present their cases and seek resolutions based on established treaties and norms. Lastly, as space activities become more integrated into daily life on Earth, public interest and pressure could play a significant role in shaping these treaties. The voices of citizens, environmental activists, and scientific communities may increasingly influence policymakers, leading to treaties that prioritize sustainability and ethical. The International Space Station ISS, has been a remarkable laboratory for scientists and engineers, providing valuable insights that will shape the design and operation of future space stations. One of the primary lessons learned is the importance of modular design. The ISS was built in pieces, with various modules launched separately and assembled in orbit. This approach allows for easier upgrades and repairs, meaning future stations can be designed to grow and adapt over time, incorporating new technologies and accommodating more complex scientific experiments. Another significant takeaway is the necessity of sustainability in life support systems. The ISS has demonstrated that recycling resources, such as water and air, is crucial for long-duration missions. Systems that can efficiently reclaim and purify water, as well as support plant growth for food, are essential for reducing the need for resupply missions from Earth, making future stations more self-sufficient. Moreover, the ISS has highlighted the importance of human factors in space living. The psychological and physical well-being of astronauts is paramount, so future designs must include private spaces, recreational areas, and opportunities for social interaction to help combat the isolation and confinement of space travel. This understanding extends to the selection of materials and technologies that minimize health risks, such as radiation protection and materials that reduce the likelihood of off-gassing harmful substances in a closed environment. The ISS experience has also emphasized the need for effective communication systems, not just for operational needs but also for maintaining morale and connection with Earth. Future stations will likely incorporate more advanced communication technologies to allow astronauts to interact with family and friends, fostering a sense of normalcy. Another lesson is the necessity of international cooperation and collaboration. The ISS has shown that pooling resources, expertise, and funding from multiple countries can lead to remarkable achievements in space exploration. Future space stations will likely build on this collaborative spirit, involving partnerships between countries, private companies, and space agencies to enhance research capabilities and share the costs of exploration. Safety protocols and emergency preparedness have also been refined through the ISS experience. Astronauts have had to practice various emergency scenarios, from fire drills to evacuation procedures, and these protocols will be critical in designing future stations to ensure the safety and security of crew members in potentially dangerous situations. Finally, the ISS has been a testbed for technologies that will be fundamental in future explorations, such as advanced robotics for maintenance and repairs, as well as experiments in growing food in microgravity. The knowledge gained from these trials will inform how future stations are constructed and operated, ensuring they are equipped for the challenges of. Advancements in propulsion technology could significantly reshape the location and function of future space stations, opening up new possibilities for human exploration and scientific research. As propulsion systems become more advanced, they will enable faster travel to various destinations within our solar system and potentially beyond. For instance, the development of ion drives and more efficient rocket engines could reduce travel times to Mars, allowing for more frequent missions. This ship would make it feasible to establish space stations not just in low Earth orbit but also in more distant locations, such as orbiting the Moon or Mars. Imagine a space station positioned at a Lagrange point, where the gravitational forces of the Earth and Moon balance, allowing for an ideal staging area for lunar exploration or as a hub for interplanetary missions. These technological advancements could also enhance the functionality of space stations. With faster propulsion, we could envision stations that serve as research outposts on asteroids or moons, where scientists can study unique geological features or even extract resources. Propulsion advancements might allow for stations that can move to different orbits or locations as needed, adapting to various mission requirements. 
For example, a space station could relocate to a position that optimizes its observational capabilities for studying solar phenomena or other cosmic events. Furthermore, having more efficient propulsion systems could lead to the creation of modular space stations. These could be designed to expand or relocate depending on the needs of the missions being conducted. Such flexibility would support a range of activities, from international collaborations focusing on deep space exploration to private sector initiatives aimed at tourism or resource extraction. The implications for space research and technology development are tremendous, as access to various parts of the solar system becomes more feasible, fostering a new era of scientific discovery and economic opportunity in space. In addition, the psychological and logistical aspects of long-duration missions could be addressed by placing stations in regions where they can support crew missions to nearby celestial bodies. This means that astronauts could live and work in environments that simulate conditions on other planets, preparing them for future exploration. Enhanced propulsion technology could also facilitate regular supply missions to these stations, ensuring that astronauts have the necessary resources and equipment for their work. As we look toward the horizon of space exploration, the evolution of propulsion technology will be a key driver in determining not just where we go, but how we live and work in the cosmos. As nations continue to explore the vastness of space, collaborative projects regarding space station development have been gaining momentum, showcasing a spirit of unity and shared ambition. One of the most significant projects in this area is the International Space Station ISS, which has seen contributions from space agencies across the globe, including NASA from the United States, Roscosmos from Russia, ESA from Europe, JAXA from Japan, and CSA from Canada. The ISS serves as a microgravity research laboratory where scientific research is conducted in astrobiology, astronomy, meteorology, and other fields. Its ongoing operation has paved the way for future international partnerships. Looking ahead, several countries are planning new space stations or modules to complement the ISS or to operate independently. For instance, China's Tiangong space station is being developed with a modular approach, expected to be fully operational with multiple research modules by the mid-2020s. This project is significant not only for its scientific objectives but also for the way it demonstrates China's growing role in the global space community, inviting collaboration with other countries interested in participating in research and technology development. Meanwhile, Russia has announced plans for a new orbital station that would serve as a platform for scientific research and could potentially work in conjunction with the ISS and other international efforts. The European Space Agency is also exploring the idea of a new space station, which could serve as a base for lunar missions and deep space exploration. These developments reflect a trend toward multinational cooperation where knowledge and resources are pooled to advance human understanding of space. Additionally, the Artemis program led by NASA aims to return humans to the moon and establish a sustainable presence there, with international partners including ESA, JAXA, and the Canadian Space Agency contributing to the Lunar Gateway Project, which will be an orbiting outpost that supports lunar exploration and serves as a stepping stone for missions to Mars. This collaborative effort emphasizes shared goals in the pooling of technological expertise, which is essential for overcoming the challenges posed by deep space exploration. As countries work together on these ambitious projects, they not only advance scientific knowledge but also foster international relationships through shared experiences and discoveries in space. The future of space station development seems bright, with numerous projects in the pipeline that promise to enhance our understanding of the universe while demonstrating the power of international collaboration. Future space stations are poised to play a crucial role in establishing a sustainable human presence in space. As humanity looks to explore beyond our home planet, these stations could serve as vital hubs for research, habitation, and resource management. One of the key contributions of future space stations will be their ability to support long-term human life in the harsh environment of space. These stations will likely incorporate advanced life support systems that recycle air and water, minimizing the need for resupply missions from Earth. By developing technologies that efficiently recycle waste and produce food in microgravity, space stations can help ensure that astronauts have a reliable supply of essential resources.
Additionally, future space stations could facilitate the testing and development of new technologies necessary for deep space exploration. For instance, they could serve as platforms for experimenting with closed-loop agricultural systems, where plants are grown using hydroponics or aeroponics in a controlled environment. This could lead to breakthroughs in how we grow food in space, making long-duration missions, such as those to Mars, more feasible. By simulating various planetary conditions, these stations can prepare scientists for the challenges of growing food on other celestial bodies. The design of future space stations will also likely incorporate modular and expandable structures. This allows for different sections of the station to be added over time, adapting to the needs of the crew and the objectives of missions. Such adaptability is essential for long-term sustainability, as it enables researchers to incorporate new technologies and respond to unforeseen challenges as they arise. In this way, space stations could evolve into self-sufficient ecosystems, where humans can live and work for extended periods. Moreover, these space stations may host international collaborations, bringing together scientists and engineers from around the world to work on common goals. This cooperative approach not only fosters innovation but also promotes peace and unity in the pursuit of knowledge about our universe. By pooling resources and expertise, countries can share the financial burden and technological challenges of sustaining human life in space, making it a more attainable goal for all. Future space stations could also be equipped with advanced robotic systems and artificial intelligence to assist astronauts in daily tasks and maintenance. These technologies would reduce the workload on human crews, allowing them to focus on research and exploration. By automating routine tasks like repairs and monitoring systems, astronauts can dedicate more time to scientific experiments and the exploration of nearby celestial bodies. As we look to the stars, the role of future space stations cannot be overstated. They will be essential in addressing the challenges of living and working in space. Astronauts play a crucial role in the research conducted on space stations, acting as the primary agents of scientific discovery and experimentation in the unique environment of microgravity. When astronauts are aboard space stations like the International Space Station ISS, they conduct a wide range of experiments that simply cannot be performed on Earth due to the effects of gravity. For instance, they study how fluids behave differently in microgravity, which can lead to insights in fields ranging from medicine to material science. In addition to physical experiments, astronauts collect data on biological processes, observing how plants, bacteria, and even human bodies respond to the conditions of space. This research is invaluable for understanding how long-duration space travel affects human health, which is critical for future missions to Mars and beyond. Astronauts also work closely with scientists on Earth, following detailed protocols to ensure experiments are conducted accurately. They are trained extensively in various scientific disciplines, which allows them to troubleshoot experiments and make adjustments as needed while in orbit. Their hands-on involvement provides immediate feedback that can enhance the quality of research, allowing for real-time problem solving. Moreover, the presence of astronauts in the space station adds a human element to the research, as they can observe phenomena and make qualitative assessments that automated systems might miss. Collaboration is another key aspect of their role, astronauts often engage in joint experiments with international teams. This global cooperation not only fosters goodwill among nations but also aggregates knowledge and resources, leading to more comprehensive research outcomes. The data collected from experiments conducted in space can lead to advancements in technology and medicine that benefit life on Earth, such as improved drug delivery systems and better understanding of diseases. Furthermore, astronauts help inspire the next generation of scientists and engineers through their public outreach efforts. By sharing their experiences and the importance of the research conducted in space, they can ignite curiosity and passion for STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, fields among students and young people. Their unique perspective on life in space, combined with the scientific discoveries they contribute to, fosters a deeper appreciation for our universe and the science that helps us understand it. The role of astronauts extends beyond just performing experiments, they are also involved in the maintenance and operation of the space station itself. This includes repairing equipment, managing life support systems, and ensuring that the station remains a safe working environment. 
The skills they develop in these areas are critical for the success of long-term missions, as they need to be self-sufficient and resourceful in addressing any challenges that arise in the space stations play a crucial role in preparing future astronauts and space crews for the challenges of living and working in space. By providing a real-world environment that mimics the conditions of long-duration space travel, space stations like the International Space Station ISS, offer invaluable opportunities for hands-on training. Astronauts can practice essential skills, such as conducting experiments, repairing equipment, and managing life support systems, all while experiencing microgravity. This experience is vital because it helps them understand how their bodies react to the lack of gravity over extended periods, which can lead to various physiological changes, such as muscle atrophy and bone density loss. Moreover, living on a space station allows astronauts to develop teamwork and communication skills, which are essential for successful missions. Crews work closely together in confined spaces, often for months at a time, so learning how to manage interpersonal relationships in a high-stress environment is critical. Training on the ISS also includes emergency preparedness drills, where astronauts must respond to potential crises, such as equipment failures or medical emergencies, ensuring they are well equipped to handle unexpected situations. In addition to practical training, space stations serve as platforms for scientific research, allowing astronauts to engage in experiments that require microgravity. This research not only contributes to our understanding of fundamental science but also prepares astronauts for the kinds of scientific work they will conduct on missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. For instance, by studying how plants grow in space, astronauts can gather insights that could be crucial for future long-term missions where food sustainability is a concern. The presence of international crews on space stations also fosters collaboration among nations, as astronauts from different countries work together towards common goals. This cross-cultural experience enriches their training, teaching them to collaborate with individuals from diverse backgrounds, which is increasingly important in the global nature of space exploration. In summary, space stations are indispensable facilities that provide a realistic training ground for future astronauts. They not only help them develop technical skills and teamwork abilities but also prepare them for the scientific challenges they will face in space. As humanity continues to push the boundaries of space exploration, the training conducted on these floating laboratories will be foundational for the next generation of space travelers. Microgravity research offers a fascinating glimpse into how the unique conditions of space can lead to groundbreaking advancements in pharmaceuticals and medicine. In the absence of gravity, the behavior of cells and proteins changes significantly, allowing scientists to study biological processes in ways that are not possible on Earth. For instance, the structure of proteins often becomes more stable and can be analyzed more effectively, which is crucial for drug development. Researchers have discovered that in microgravity, crystals of proteins can grow larger and more uniformly. This is important because larger crystals can provide clear insights into the protein structure, aiding in the design of more effective drugs. Additionally, microgravity affects how cells interact. In space, some cells might behave differently, which can provide new insights into how diseases progress and how the human body reacts to certain treatments. For example, studies have shown that certain bacteria can become more virulent in microgravity, which raises questions about how infections could be managed in space environments and how this knowledge can be translated to improve treatments on Earth. The changes in gene expression observed in cells under microgravity conditions can also inform researchers about the mechanisms of disease and the development of therapies. Moreover, research on microgravity allows for the testing of new drugs in a controlled environment that minimizes variables found on Earth. This can accelerate the process of drug discovery and testing, potentially leading to new treatments for various conditions, including cancer and osteoporosis. The ability to study the effects of drugs in a microgravity environment can also help scientists understand how to optimize these drugs for use in patients who may have different responses due to their unique biological makeup. This research is not just theoretical, actual experiments aboard the International Space Station ISS, have already yielded promising results. For example, experiments focusing on how certain cancer treatments affect tumor growth have provided valuable data that could lead to more effective therapies.
The insights gained from microgravity conditions are paving the way for precision medicine, where treatments can be tailored more closely to individual needs. As space agencies continue to explore the potential of microgravity, collaborations with pharmaceutical companies are becoming more common. These partnerships can harness the unique environment of space to push forward the boundaries of medicine. The potential benefits are immense, not only for space exploration but for improving healthcare on Earth. By understanding how biological processes change in microgravity, researchers may unlock new pathways for combating diseases, developing innovative therapies, and ultimately enhancing human health. Cultural exchanges aboard space stations play a significant role in enhancing international relationships by fostering cooperation, understanding, and shared experiences among astronauts from different countries. When astronauts from diverse backgrounds live and work together in the confined environment of a space station, they have the unique opportunity to share their cultures, traditions, and perspectives. This interaction goes beyond mere communication, it builds camaraderie and mutual respect, which are essential for successful collaboration in space exploration. For instance, astronauts may share traditional meals from their home countries, celebrate cultural holidays, or teach each other about their languages and customs. Such activities not only enrich their personal experiences but also create a sense of unity and teamwork that is crucial for overcoming the challenges of living in space. Moreover, cultural exchanges can lead to enhanced problem-solving abilities. Different cultural approaches can inspire new ideas and methods for tackling the scientific experiments and engineering challenges that astronauts face. When diverse minds come together, they can think outside the box and bring innovative solutions that may not have emerged in a more homogeneous group. This collaborative spirit is vital in an environment where time is limited and the stakes are high. Additionally, these exchanges serve as a powerful symbol of peace and collaboration on a global scale. With the backdrop of space exploration, countries are reminded of their shared goals and aspirations. The International Space Station ISS, itself is a testament to international cooperation, involving partnerships between space agencies such as NASA, United States, Roscosmos, Russia, ESA, European Space Agency, JAXA, Japan, and others. The astronauts aboard the ISS represent this cooperation, showcasing how humanity can work together toward a common objective, regardless of political or cultural differences. Through live-streamed events and educational outreach, astronauts can share their experiences with people on Earth, inspiring a new generation of scientists, engineers, and space enthusiasts. These interactions can spark interest in space exploration within various cultures, fostering a sense of global community. When individuals from different nations see their astronauts collaborating in space, it reinforces the idea that science and exploration transcend borders, encouraging a more peaceful coexistence among nations. Furthermore, the unique circumstances of living in space can break down barriers and stereotypes. Astronauts often find that they have more in common with each other than they might have expected. The shared experience of facing the unknown, whether it's the vastness of space or the complexities of scientific experiments, creates strong bonds. These interpersonal connections can lead to long-lasting friendships and collaborations that extend beyond their time and space. In summary, maintaining a diverse crew aboard space stations presents a unique set of challenges that extend beyond everyday teamwork dynamics. One of the primary challenges is communication, as crew members often come from different cultural backgrounds, speak different languages, and may have varying interpretations of nonverbal cues. This can lead to misunderstandings and misinterpretations, especially in high-stress situations where clear and effective communication is critical. Additionally, the psychological aspect of diversity cannot be overlooked. Individuals from various backgrounds may have different coping mechanisms and ways of expressing emotions, which can affect group harmony and collaboration. Another significant challenge is the need for inclusive decision-making processes. In a diverse crew, ensuring that every member feels valued and heard can be particularly difficult, especially in a confined environment like a space station where stress levels can be high due to isolation and the demanding nature of space missions. Moreover, the physical space itself can impose limitations with a smaller living area, personal preferences and habits can clash, leading to tensions that need to be carefully managed. 
Training and preparation for crew members become essential in addressing these challenges. Programs aimed at fostering cultural awareness and sensitivity can help bridge gaps between crew members. However, even with the best training, the unpredictable nature of human dynamics can lead to conflicts that require strong leadership and effective conflict resolution strategies. Additionally, crew selection processes must prioritize not only the technical skills of astronauts but also their ability to work collaboratively in a diverse setting. This means that psychological evaluations and team-building exercises are crucial components of preparing for missions. Beyond interpersonal interactions, there are logistical considerations, such as dietary restrictions or medical needs that vary across cultures, which require careful planning to ensure that all crew members are accommodated appropriately. The psychological well-being of a diverse crew is another area of concern, as individuals may experience feelings of isolation or alienation, impacting their overall performance and mental health during long missions. Addressing these needs involves creating an inclusive environment where everyone feels supported and understood. Furthermore, the integration of technology can play a role in easing some of these challenges, for instance, translation software can assist in communication, and virtual reality experiences can help team members understand different cultural perspectives and practices. As humanity continues to explore the cosmos, the ability to work effectively in diverse teams will be vital for the success of future missions, making it an area of ongoing research and development in space exploration programs. As we look to the future of space exploration, the design of space stations will likely take a significant turn towards sustainability, mirroring the growing emphasis on environmental responsibility here on Earth. One innovative approach could involve utilizing advanced materials that are not only lightweight and durable but also recyclable. For instance, incorporating biopolymers or composites made from renewable resources could minimize the environmental impact of constructing these habitats. Furthermore, future space stations might harness the power of solar energy more efficiently, utilizing extensive arrays of solar panels that convert sunlight into electricity. These panels could be designed to track the sun's position for optimal energy absorption, ensuring that the station has a reliable power source even when far from planetary bodies. Water recycling systems will also be crucial for sustainability. Current systems on the International Space Station ISS, recycle a significant amount of water, but future designs could implement even more advanced purification technologies, perhaps using biomimetic membranes that mimic the natural filtration processes found in living organisms. This would not only reduce the need for resupply missions from Earth but also ensure that every drop of water is used efficiently. In addition to water, waste management systems could be enhanced, converting organic waste into usable resources or even biofuel to power the station's systems. Future space stations may also integrate greenhouses or hydroponic farms, allowing astronauts to grow their own food. These facilities would not only provide fresh produce but could also contribute to oxygen production and carbon dioxide absorption, creating a more Earth-like atmosphere within the station. By employing vertical farming techniques, space stations could maximize limited space while minimizing resource use, thereby creating a self-sustaining ecosystem. Moreover, the architecture of these space habitats might prioritize passive environmental controls, such as thermal insulation to regulate temperature without excessive energy expenditure. Innovations like aerogel insulation could be employed, providing excellent thermal protection while being incredibly lightweight. The design could also include movable panels that adjust to provide shade or maximize solar gain, depending on the station's orientation relative to the sun. Collaboration with international organizations may lead to the establishment of regulations that ensure all future space stations adhere to strict sustainability standards. These guidelines could dictate the types of materials used, energy consumption limits, and waste management protocols, promoting a collective effort to keep space exploration environmentally responsible. This could also foster a culture of stewardship among astronauts, encouraging them to adopt sustainable practices during their missions. As we envision these advanced space stations, the integration of artificial intelligence could play a key role in managing resources effectively. Smart systems could monitor energy. 
as we delve into the realm of space exploration, particularly concerning the safety of astronauts aboard space stations, we encounter a fascinating array of technologies designed to enhance their well-being and security. One of the most significant advancements is the development of advanced life support systems. These systems are crucial as they recycle air and water, minimizing the need for resupply missions and ensuring that the astronauts have a sustainable environment. Engineers are now integrating more efficient carbon dioxide scrubbers that can quickly remove harmful gases from the air, thereby improving the overall air quality within the station. Another area of focus is radiation protection. Astronauts in space are exposed to higher levels of cosmic radiation, which can lead to serious health issues over time. To combat this, researchers are exploring the use of innovative materials that can be incorporated into the station's structure. These materials can effectively shield against radiation, and some are even being designed to be lightweight to avoid adding excessive mass to the spacecraft. Additionally, scientists are developing portable radiation detection devices that astronauts can wear, allowing them to monitor their exposure in real time and take protective measures when necessary. Moreover, advancements in robotics are playing a crucial role in ensuring astronaut safety. Robotic systems can perform maintenance tasks outside the station, reducing the need for astronauts to engage in potentially dangerous spacewalks. These robots can be equipped with various tools and sensors, enabling them to troubleshoot issues and carry out repairs, thereby minimizing risks associated with human error in a space environment. Mental health is another critical aspect of astronaut safety, given the isolation and confinement of living in space for extended periods. To address this, new technologies are being developed to support mental well-being. Virtual reality systems are being implemented to provide astronauts with immersive experiences that can simulate Earth environments, helping to reduce stress and improve mood. These systems can also offer relaxation exercises and therapeutic sessions, enabling astronauts to maintain their mental health during missions. Furthermore, advancements in communication technologies are enhancing the way astronauts stay connected with their families and ground control. High bandwidth communication systems allow for clearer, more reliable conversations, enabling astronauts to maintain social ties and receive real-time support from psychologists and mission control. This connectivity is vital for emotional health and fosters a sense of community, even when thousands of miles away from home. Training technologies are also evolving, with the use of virtual simulations that prepare astronauts for various scenarios they might encounter on the space station. These simulations offer lifelike experiences, helping astronauts practice emergency protocols and decision-making in a safe environment. Enhanced Training Regimens The future of space stations is likely to be shaped significantly by public interest and funding, which are both crucial drivers for the development and maintenance of these orbiting laboratories. As more people become fascinated with space exploration, driven by advancements in technology and high-profile missions, this growing interest can lead to increased public support for space programs. When people are engaged and excited about the possibilities of living and working in space, they advocate for more investments, which can result in governments allocating more funds to space agencies like NASA, ESA, or even private companies developing their own stations. Public interest can also steer the direction of research and development in space stations. If there is a surge in enthusiasm for a particular aspect of space, such as tourism, science, or even the potential for colonization of other planets, funding may follow that interest. For example, if a significant portion of the public shows interest in space tourism, companies may invest in building space hotels or research stations that can accommodate tourists, leading to a new era of commercial space travel. This could create a cycle where increased funding leads to more innovative projects, which in turn fuels further public excitement. Moreover, partnerships between government space agencies and private companies are becoming more common. As companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin make strides in reducing the cost of launching payloads into space, there is potential for more collaborative projects. These partnerships can not only lead to more advanced and cost-effective space stations but also ensure that they are designed with the needs and interests of the public in mind. For instance, if a private company develops a space station primarily for research, they might also include facilities for public outreach and education, allowing people on Earth to engage with the science being conducted in real time. 
the role of social media and digital platforms cannot be ignored either. With the ability to share experiences and knowledge widely, public interest can be amplified in ways that were not possible before. When astronauts or scientists share their experiences and discoveries from space stations online, it can inspire a new generation of space enthusiasts, leading to more advocacy for funding. This interaction can also create a sense of community around space exploration, as people feel connected to these missions and invested in their success. Lastly, the demographic shift towards a more space-curious society, particularly among younger generations, could influence the priorities of space agencies and funding bodies. As children and young adults express more interest in space as a career or hobby, it will likely shape educational programs and initiatives aimed at inspiring the next generation of scientists and engineers. Space stations can play a significant role in national security and defense by providing a unique vantage point for monitoring and gathering intelligence. Unlike ground-based surveillance, space stations have an unobstructed view of vast areas of the Earth, allowing for real-time observation of military activities, natural disasters, or any unusual movements across borders. This capability enhances a nation's ability to respond rapidly to emerging threats or humanitarian crises. Additionally, space stations can serve as platforms for advanced reconnaissance satellites, offering improved imaging and data collection capabilities that are crucial for strategic planning and decision-making. Moreover, space stations can facilitate research and development of advanced technologies that have direct applications in defense, such as new materials for spacecraft or systems for better communication and navigation. By fostering innovation in a microgravity environment, space stations can help create cutting-edge technologies that could enhance a nation's defense capabilities. They can also support the testing of space-based defense systems, including missile defense and satellite communication systems, which are essential for modern military operations. Furthermore, space stations can enhance international collaboration on security issues. By hosting joint missions and research projects with allied nations, countries can build trust and share vital information, which can lead to improved collective security. This collaboration can extend to training personnel and operating and maintaining space assets, ensuring that nations are better prepared for joint operations in the event of a crisis. In times of conflict, space stations can also serve as hubs for communication and coordination, enabling military leaders to maintain contact with troops on the ground and other assets in space. The ability to relay information quickly and effectively can be crucial in managing operations and making informed decisions during fast-moving situations. Additionally, space stations can act as a deterrent against potential adversaries. The presence of a well-equipped space station may discourage hostile actions by showcasing a nation's commitment to maintaining a strong presence in space. Lastly, as space becomes increasingly crowded with satellites and other objects, the management of space traffic and debris becomes essential for national security. Space stations can help monitor space debris and provide early warnings about potential collisions that could threaten critical satellites, ensuring the protection of valuable space assets. This proactive approach to space situational awareness helps safeguard a nation's interests in an increasingly contested domain. Space stations play a crucial role in helping scientists understand how humans adapt to different planetary environments, particularly because they provide a unique platform for long-duration space missions. These floating laboratories, like the International Space Station ISS, allow researchers to conduct experiments in microgravity, which is similar to conditions that might be encountered on other planets, such as Mars or the moons of Jupiter and Saturn. By studying the physiological and psychological effects of living in space, scientists gather important data on how the human body responds to prolonged exposure to low gravity, radiation, and other factors that differ significantly from Earth. One of the key areas of research is how microgravity affects muscle and bone density. In a weightless environment, astronauts experience muscle atrophy and bone loss at a rate much faster than what would occur on Earth. Understanding these changes is vital for planning long-term missions to places like Mars, where astronauts might be away from Earth for many months. Researchers use advanced imaging techniques and exercise regimens to monitor these changes, helping to develop countermeasures that can be implemented on future missions. Additionally, space stations provide insights into how human physiology adapts to different levels of radiation exposure. 
Living in low Earth orbit, astronauts are exposed to higher levels of cosmic radiation than on the surface of our planet. By studying the health effects of this radiation over time, scientists can devise protective measures for astronauts on longer journeys, ensuring their safety on missions to distant worlds. This research also has implications for understanding the risks of radiation exposure for people on Earth, particularly for those working in high-altitude flights or in certain medical settings. Another critical aspect is the psychological and social dynamics of living in confined spaces with a small group of people for extended periods. Space stations allow researchers to study how isolation and confinement affect human behavior and mental health. Understanding these dynamics is essential for preparing astronauts for the challenges they will face on long missions, such as living on Mars, where they will be far from Earth and have limited contact with their families and friends. Experiments conducted in space help uncover the coping mechanisms and social structures that can support crew members during such missions. Moreover, space stations serve as test beds for life support systems that will be essential for sustaining human life on other planets. These systems must recycle water and air, manage waste, and provide food in a closed-loop environment. Research conducted on space stations helps engineers refine these technologies, making them more efficient and reliable for future interplanetary travel. The lessons learned from these systems are crucial for missions. Robots and automation play a crucial role in the operation of space stations, significantly enhancing the efficiency, safety, and capabilities of these complex environments. Space is a harsh and unpredictable place, and having robotic systems allows for tasks to be performed in conditions that might be dangerous for human astronauts. For instance, robotic arms like the Canada Arm 2 on the International Space Station ISS, are vital for a variety of tasks, including capturing visiting spacecraft, moving equipment, and installing new modules. This arm not only aids in construction and maintenance but also ensures that human crew members can stay safe while doing work that would otherwise require them to venture into the vacuum of space. Automation also helps manage routine activities on space stations. Life support systems, for example, are often automated to monitor and regulate oxygen levels, temperature, and humidity. These systems can detect changes and make adjustments without requiring constant human oversight, allowing astronauts to focus on scientific research and other critical tasks. Furthermore, robots can be employed for experiments that need to be conducted in microgravity, where precision and consistency are crucial. Automated systems can handle repetitive tasks, reducing the workload on astronauts and minimizing the risk of human error. Another exciting aspect of robotics in space involves the use of rovers and drones for exploration outside of the station. These machines can conduct surveys of the surrounding environment, collect samples, and perform repairs on space structures, all while being controlled from inside the safety of the space station. This capability is especially important for future missions to the Moon and Mars, where astronauts will need to rely on robotic assistance to explore and prepare for human habitation. Moreover, the development of artificial intelligence AI, is pushing the boundaries of what robots can do in space. AI systems can analyze data in real time, learn from their experiences, and make autonomous decisions. This means that robots could potentially handle unforeseen problems or adapt to new scenarios without waiting for instructions from Earth, which is especially important given the time delays in communication over vast distances. Additionally, as we look toward the future of space exploration, the integration of robots and automation will likely expand even further. Concepts such as self-repairing systems and advanced robotic companions for astronauts are being explored. These innovations could drastically reduce the need for human intervention and routine maintenance, allowing astronauts to devote more time to research and exploration efforts. The collaboration between humans and robots not only increases the safety and efficiency of space missions but also opens up new possibilities for scientific discoveries that would be difficult or impossible to achieve with only human crews. As humanity looks toward the ambitious goal of establishing a presence on Mars, the design of future habitats on the Red Planet will likely draw significant inspiration from the architecture and functionality of current space stations, notably the International Space Station ISS. Space stations are crafted to be self-sustaining environments where astronauts can live and work for extended periods.
This requires careful consideration of life support systems, energy efficiency, and space utilization, all of which are crucial elements that will inform habitat designs on Mars. One of the primary features that future Martian habitats may adopt from space stations is the modular design. Space stations are built using interconnected modules that serve different purposes, such as living quarters, laboratories, and workspaces. Similarly, Martian habitats could consist of several connected modules that provide flexibility and the ability to expand as the colony grows. This modularity would allow for easy repairs, upgrades, and the addition of new facilities as technology advances and the needs of the inhabitants change. Moreover, the use of advanced life support systems is critical in both environments. Space stations recycle air and water, using systems that filter and purify waste products, creating a closed-loop ecosystem. Future Martian habitats will need to implement similar technologies to ensure that resources are used efficiently and that the habitats can sustain human life with minimal resupply from Earth. Innovations in hydroponics and aeroponics, which have been tested in space, could be adapted for growing food on Mars, further enhancing self-sufficiency. Energy management is another area where Martian habitats can glean insights from space station design. The ISS utilizes solar panels to capture energy from the sun, which is crucial for its operations in the vacuum of space. On Mars, solar energy will also be a primary power source, but engineers will need to account for the planet's dust storms that can obscure sunlight. Future habitats might incorporate energy storage systems and backup power solutions to ensure a continuous energy supply, mirroring the redundancy systems employed on the ISS. In terms of habitability, both environments will prioritize psychological well-being and the comfort of their inhabitants. Space stations are designed with considerations for living space, recreation, and social interaction to help combat the feelings of isolation and confinement that can arise during long missions. Similarly, Martian habitats will need to create inviting communal areas where astronauts can relax, socialize, and engage in recreational activities, incorporating design elements that mimic Earth-like environments to help mitigate the mental challenges of living on a distant planet. The Lessons Learned from Years of Human Experience Aboard Future space stations are poised to tackle several key scientific questions that will enhance our understanding of the universe and our place within it. One of the primary focuses will be on studying the effects of long-duration spaceflight on the human body. As astronauts spend extended periods in microgravity, scientists aim to learn how this environment affects muscle mass, bone density, and overall health. Understanding these changes is crucial for future missions to Mars and beyond, where astronauts may be away from Earth for years. Another important question concerns the behavior of fluids in microgravity. On Earth, we rely on gravity to dictate how liquids behave, but in space, fluids can form floating globules and behave unpredictably. Space stations will provide a unique laboratory to study fluid dynamics without the interference of gravity, which could lead to advancements in technologies ranging from combustion engines to medical devices. Additionally, future space stations will delve into the mysteries of space radiation. Astronauts are exposed to higher levels of radiation in space, which can pose significant health risks. Research in this area will focus on understanding how radiation affects living organisms at the cellular level and how to develop better shielding techniques to protect future travelers. Plant growth and agriculture in space will also be a major area of research. As we plan for long-term missions, being able to grow food in space becomes vital. Scientists will investigate how plants adapt to microgravity and how we can optimize their growth for future space habitats, ensuring that astronauts have fresh food options during their journeys. Moreover, astrobiology is a fascinating field that future space stations will explore. Questions about the origins of life and whether life exists beyond Earth will be at the forefront of research. By examining extremophiles, organisms that thrive in harsh conditions on Earth, Scientists hope to gain insights into how life might exist on other planets or moons, such as Europa or Enceladus, which harbor subsurface oceans. Another critical aspect will be investigating the potential for in situ resource utilization, ISRU, which involves using materials found on other celestial bodies to support human activities.
This could mean extracting water from lunar ice or using Martian soil to create building materials. Understanding how to utilize these resources will be essential for sustainable human presence beyond Earth. Finally, future space stations will serve as platforms for advanced technological development and testing. For example, they will enable experiments with 3D printing in space, which could revolutionize how we build structures and tools for future missions. By understanding how materials behave and can be, space stations play a crucial role in preparing humanity for deeper space exploration by serving as specialized laboratories and living environments for astronauts. These orbiting outposts, like the International Space Station ISS, allow scientists and engineers to test the effects of long-duration space travel on the human body. By studying how microgravity impacts physical health, scientists can develop countermeasures to combat issues such as muscle atrophy and bone loss, which are significant concerns for missions that last months or even years. Furthermore, space stations provide a platform for conducting experiments that would be impossible on Earth. Research in areas like material science, fluid dynamics, and combustion can lead to breakthroughs that enhance technology used for future missions. For instance, understanding how materials behave in microgravity could help in the construction of spacecraft that are lighter and more durable, thus making them more efficient for journeys to places like Mars or beyond. In addition to scientific research, space stations serve as a training ground for astronauts. Crews live and work in conditions similar to those they will face during long missions, allowing them to practice skills in a controlled environment. This includes everything from daily routines, like eating and sleeping, to emergency protocols, ensuring that astronauts are well prepared for any challenges they might encounter on extended trips into deep space. Moreover, space stations facilitate international cooperation in space exploration. Countries collaborate on missions, sharing resources and expertise, which strengthens partnerships and enhances the global approach to exploring the cosmos. This collaboration is essential for ambitious projects that require significant investment in technology sharing, such as planned missions to the Moon and Mars. As humanity looks to venture further into the solar system, space stations will also serve as launch pads for deeper space missions. They can be used for assembling and launching spacecraft, reducing the amount of fuel needed to escape Earth's gravity since launching from orbit requires less energy than launching from the surface. This strategic advantage can make missions to distant destinations more feasible and cost-effective. In summary, space stations are not just temporary homes for astronauts, they are vital tools for advancing our knowledge, technology, and readiness for exploring the deeper reaches of space. Through ongoing research, training, and international collaboration, these orbiting laboratories are paving the way for the next great leaps into the universe. Astronauts living on space stations like the International Space Station ISS, face unique challenges that can impact their mental well-being due to the isolated and confined environment. To support their mental health, several measures are put in place before, during, and after their missions. Prior to launch, astronauts undergo rigorous psychological training. This training helps them develop coping strategies for stress and isolation, making them better prepared for the challenges they will face in space. They also participate in team-building exercises and simulations to build strong interpersonal relationships, which are crucial for maintaining harmony in the close quarters of a space station. Once in space, astronauts have regular communication with family and friends on Earth. They can make video calls and send emails, which helps reduce feelings of loneliness and keeps them connected to their loved ones. Scheduled leisure activities are also part of their routine. Astronauts are encouraged to spend time engaging in hobbies such as reading, watching movies, or even playing musical instruments. These activities provide a necessary mental escape from the demands of their work and help them unwind after long hours of scientific research and maintenance tasks. Additionally, the environment on space stations is designed to promote well-being. For instance, astronauts have access to natural light through windows, and they can experience Earth's view, which can be uplifting. Physical exercise is another critical component of their daily routine, with astronauts working out for at least two hours each day. Exercise not only helps maintain physical health and microgravity but also releases endorphins, which can improve mood and reduce stress. 
Psychological support is always available, with onboard psychologists who check in with astronauts regularly. They monitor the crew's mental health and provide support when needed. In case of significant emotional distress, astronauts can access mental health resources and counseling, which can be conducted via video calls with experts on Earth. This comprehensive approach ensures that astronauts have the tools and support they need to maintain their mental well-being during their time in space, helping them to perform their tasks effectively while also taking care of their psychological health. Space stations serve as remarkable platforms for promoting global cooperation in the pursuit of scientific knowledge by bringing together scientists, engineers, and astronauts from diverse countries to work on shared goals. This collaboration fosters an environment where individuals can put aside national differences and unite in their quest for understanding the universe. For instance, the International Space Station ISS, a symbol of international partnership, has evolved into a hub for scientific research and technological innovation, with contributions from space agencies like NASA, Roscosmos, ESA, JAXA, and others. Each partner brings unique expertise, resources, and perspectives, enriching the research conducted aboard the station. The diverse mix of cultures and ideas not only enhances problem solving but also encourages the exchange of knowledge that can lead to breakthroughs in various scientific fields, such as biology, physics, and material science. Experiments conducted in microgravity can yield insights that are impossible to achieve on Earth, and the results often benefit humanity as a whole, addressing global challenges like climate change, health, and resource management. For example, studies on how plants grow in space have implications for food production on Earth, potentially aiding in the fight against hunger. Moreover, the collaborative nature of space missions often leads to the development of joint programs and initiatives that extend beyond the confines of the space station. These partnerships can inspire educational outreach, where students and young scientists from around the globe engage with space-related projects and experiments fostering a new generation of talent eager to contribute to scientific discovery. This outreach builds a sense of shared purpose and broadens the understanding of science as a universal endeavor that transcends borders. Additionally, the unique challenges posed by living and working in space necessitate cooperation in problem solving, risk management, and resource sharing. When crew members from different countries work together to address emergencies or technical difficulties, they learn to rely on one another's skills and insights, enhancing international trust and friendship. Such teamwork promotes peaceful relations and encourages countries to engage in further collaborative projects, both in space and on Earth. The visibility of successful international missions also plays a significant role in shaping public perception. When the world sees astronauts from various nations living and working together in space, it reinforces the idea that humanity can come together to achieve great things. This shared vision of progress can inspire political leaders to invest in scientific collaboration, leading to increased funding for space exploration and research initiatives that benefit all of humanity. Furthermore, international cooperation in space exploration has a ripple effect on diplomatic relations. Countries that collaborate on space missions often find it easier. Commercial entities are expected to play a transformative role in the development of space stations in the coming years. As private companies increasingly invest in space technology, they may build and operate their own space stations, providing new opportunities for research, tourism, and even manufacturing in microgravity environments. One of the most intriguing prospects is the establishment of commercially operated space hotels, where tourists can experience life in space, enjoying unique views of Earth and the cosmos. These hotels could cater to a growing market of space enthusiasts, offering packages that include everything from short stays to longer immersive experiences in microgravity. In addition to tourism, commercial entities could facilitate scientific research by creating dedicated facilities for scientists and researchers from various fields. This could lead to advancements in medicine, material science, and environmental studies, as microgravity allows for experiments that cannot be conducted on Earth. Companies like Axiom Space plan to attach modules to the International Space Station ISS, that will eventually evolve into independent commercial space stations. These modules will not only provide living and working space for astronauts but will also be available for private research and development projects. 
manufacturing in space is another area where commercial companies can thrive. The unique conditions of microgravity can be advantageous for producing materials and products that are difficult or impossible to create on Earth. Companies may develop new technologies for manufacturing pharmaceuticals, advanced materials, or even components for satellites and spacecraft, all of which could lead to significant cost savings and efficiency improvements. Furthermore, commercial partnerships with government space agencies can accelerate the construction and sustainability of space stations. By sharing resources and expertise, private firms can help develop the infrastructure needed to support long-term human presence in space. This collaboration may also lead to innovations in life support systems, radiation protection, and habitats that can sustain astronauts for extended periods. Moreover, the competition among private companies to establish a foothold in low Earth orbit could drive innovation and reduce costs, making space more accessible than ever. This competition might encourage advancements in transportation technologies, such as reusable rockets and more efficient spacecraft, ultimately benefiting the entire space industry. As these commercial entities expand their roles, they may also become key players in the future of space exploration beyond low Earth orbit. For instance, they could contribute to lunar bases or even missions to Mars, providing transportation, logistics, and research capabilities that complement governmental efforts. With the right investments and partnerships, commercial companies could help humanity establish a permanent presence in space, opening up new frontiers for exploration and discovery. In this evolving landscape, the public's interest in as we look to the future of human exploration in the cosmos, the next generation of space stations is set to play a crucial role in shaping our journey beyond Earth. These advanced space habitats are being designed not just as temporary homes for astronauts but as fully functional laboratories, factories, and hubs for a variety of activities among diverse teams from different countries. One of the most exciting aspects of future space stations is their potential to support long-term missions. Unlike the International Space Station ISS, which primarily supports short-duration missions, these new stations may enable humans to live and work in space for extended periods, paving the way for deeper exploration of the Moon and Mars. With advancements in technology, we envision space stations equipped with enhanced life support systems that can recycle air, water, and waste more efficiently. This means astronauts could spend months or even years in space without the need for constant resupply missions from Earth. Additionally, next-generation stations will likely harness solar energy more effectively, using large solar panels to generate power, thus reducing the dependence on fuel shipments. This sustainable approach will allow for more self-sufficient operations, making long-duration missions more feasible. Another remarkable feature expected in future space habitats is the integration of artificial intelligence and robotics. These technologies will not only assist astronauts in their daily tasks but also perform repairs and maintenance autonomously, reducing the risks associated with human error in a challenging environment. Moreover, advanced robotic systems could help with scientific experiments, allowing researchers to gather data and conduct experiments without requiring constant human oversight. This will enhance our understanding of various phenomena in microgravity, such as the effects of long-term space travel on the human body. The design of these stations may also focus on modularity, enabling different parts of the station to be added or removed as needed. This adaptability will allow for the creation of specialized research areas, manufacturing zones for in-space production, and even recreational spaces to support the mental well-being of astronauts. As more nations and private companies get involved in space exploration, the international collaboration fostered by these stations could lead to unprecedented partnerships, facilitating shared knowledge and resources that drive innovation in space science. Furthermore, we are likely to see advancements in habitats designed for different celestial environments. For instance, lunar bases could serve as outposts for testing technologies and conducting research in preparation for eventual human missions to Mars. These lunar stations may utilize local materials to build structures, demonstrating how we can live off the land and reduce the need to transport everything from Earth. This concept of in situ. As we look deeper into the cosmos, one fascinating aspect that emerges is the concept of dark matter. 
while ordinary matter, like the stars and planets we can see, makes up only about 5% of the universe, dark matter is thought to account for roughly 27%. This mysterious substance doesn't emit, absorb, or reflect light, making it invisible and detectable only through its gravitational effects. Scientists have proposed that dark matter could be made up of weakly interacting massive particles, or WIMPs, which are hypothetical particles that could explain the missing mass in galaxies. This leads to intriguing discussions about whether dark matter might also harbor its own forms of structure, possibly even clumping together in ways that we can't yet observe directly. Transitioning from dark matter, we must also consider the phenomenon of cosmic microwave background radiation, which serves as a remnant from the early universe. This radiation is a faint glow left over from the Big Bang, and it fills the universe almost uniformly. Studying this radiation provides insights into the conditions of the early universe, helping scientists understand how the universe expanded and cooled over time. It raises questions about the very nature of the universe, such as whether it is flat, open, or closed, which influences the ultimate fate of all cosmic structures. As we delve further into the universe, we encounter the concept of black holes. These enormous gravitational wells form when massive stars collapse under their own gravity, creating regions where the escape velocity exceeds the speed of light. The study of black holes leads to questions about the nature of time and space. For instance, the event horizon of a black hole marks the point of no return, and what happens inside remains one of the biggest mysteries in astrophysics. Some theories even suggest that black holes could be gateways to other universes or dimensions, prompting discussions around multiverse theories in the very fabric of reality itself. Shifting our focus to exoplanets, the search for worlds outside our solar system has become a captivating endeavor. Thousands of these distant planets have been discovered, some located in the so-called habitable zone where conditions might allow for liquid water. The quest to find extraterrestrial life is tied closely to these discoveries, leading to questions about what forms life might take on other planets. Could it be similar to life on Earth, or entirely different, based on different chemical processes? The exploration of these worlds could open up unimaginable possibilities, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of biology and the conditions required for life. In contemplating the future of... Dot, 